Hello, welcome back to Life is Strange, episode 4. <laughs> I just double checked, I already forgot. It's called The Dark Room. Um, I'm gonna press continue because it's gonna sum it up. So, uh. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. The consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. This is the episode that made this game top 10 for me. I keep saying such things, but the, the writing in this episode utterly destroyed me. In a beautiful sort of way, in the way that how can a game affect you in that way? Episode 4, Dark Room. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. Probably easier to write than to visit me. 
I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Um. Oh, where's my mouse tag? Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just... Happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Uh, what missing girl? What, what missing girl? I don't know her name. I just read about it in the news. I feel bad for her family. This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. It might be. It might be, but I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Pretty high-tech lair. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. 
I wouldn't doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? You're not gonna read the papers just yet. Is that water? Instead of handing Chloe a bong, I'm feeding her water. Did I give her a choice? That must be her mighty morphine machine. <laughs> mighty morphine. No more bongs for her. There's the old Chloe. Whoa, Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. Mm. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. The Black Attic Club. Show calendar. Black Flag Tribute Band. Dorothy Twister. Low Pants Eyes. Pisshead. The Disco Boys or the Groovy Ghoulies. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. Hey, it's ISE. Internet relay chat. Hot wheels chat room .com. Handy, but for your safety, do not give any personal information to any persons in this chat room. You are responsible for knowing the chat room rules. Miss Blue says, so what are you doing? Ignatius says, we're talking with you. Miss Blue says, haha, no shit. Ignatius says, I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Miss Blue, oh my god, love, Scott Bakula rules. Victor says, so do you, I hope we can meet soon. Miss Blue says, not if you're in San Francisco. Hey, I have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while you're binging on Bakula. Ignatius, you better. Hello? In the room is Badoof, Ignatius, Oddball, Handybot, Eileen, Miss Blue and Snack. I expect Miss Blue is a... Uh, Is Chloe. Oh, what's the on it? Chloe is still up. That's so cool that oh. Chloe has made friends online. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but Max, it would so be fun. Cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, so you know we love you and you in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see you smiling face soon. Your face, smiling face. Please be well, Ryan and Vanessa. Thinking I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. No doubt I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and hope to see you again. XOXO Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know that I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame writing shit like, hope you're well, etc. No life is so different now and don't want to get in the way of our friendship. I don't want that to get in our way of our friendship. Yes, I've been around lately, but I'll change soon. I hope you're well, in quotation marks. Love, At Max. least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Oh, a little smiley face down there. See, Max does the best smiley faces. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. Oh, a snow globe connection. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. The snow dough. Hello, Chloe. She likes fluffy animals now. You're really my only friend who kept in touch. I should have kept more in touch. This... This is hurting me. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. I'm glad I took this photo. Chloe has a new memory of William and her together. So the thing I did in the past actually affected this. 
At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh, man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. It took a long while to find out what. Oh, man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, well, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me. You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Oh. I'm gonna focus on her. I know this is a dumb question, but... Are you lonely here? Yes, dumb question. I don't mind being alone. I can't exactly go party like a rock star, though. Or get in 18 trouble with the folks. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can, Can they pay? pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend yes. a night at my house. What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Thanks. I, uh... I think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. Nothing but medical supplies. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Aha, uh -huh. here's the DVD. DVDs. Let's snoop some more. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. I would power. A snoop. Wow, sir. Chloe was a straight A student. She could have gone to any college. Report card. 
A A A A A A A. Don't know what the U stands for. Yes. Eh, she's tardy sometimes. But apparently gets extra credits. Is that what that means? Despite everything, they're still a happy family again. It's cool that in this reality, Chloe really loves skating too. Now we have a movie night. Just need some popcorn. Oh, the music in Blade Runner is so good. What is it called? Van Vangelis, I think. Evangelis. Is she asleep? <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. She's quick. Yesterday quick was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates, jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's... Uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. The swag. Ventures died a year ago, actually. So, are you sure it isn't too weird for you to be hanging out with me like this? No way. No way. I don't want you to feel weird. My life is just so different than yours. I mean, we can't just bounce out of here and... I'll be doped up half the day in pain. So that's cool. But I do feel grateful I can see the ocean. That I have parents who love me. And that my best friend is here with me today. Exactly. So, what else do you need? Well... Hot monkey sex would be nice. <laughs> oh, look. I made Maxine blush. So, are you dating anyone at Blackwell? Uh, too busy, I suppose. Oh, I'm too busy with school and photography. Oh, please. You can't be an artist unless you experience life. That includes boys, girls, whatever. This guy Warren asked me out, but I turned him down. Now he's with somebody else. His loss. You need to move on, girl. Plenty of fish in the bay. <laughs> Shit. I sound like my dad. How is William? How is William? Do you like having him around? 
Of course. He's my hero. I swear he would do anything for me or mom. I wish I could do something for him. You have. You're here with your family. More like they're here for me. But then so are you. So it's all good. I might get quiet during this episode. It's not because I'm not here. I'm just... Yeah. Could I put makeup on her? I think I did that last time, didn't I? Well, I can get to talk to her, but in Seattle houses. Damn. Never do payment. This is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Uh, Cronenberg. <laughs> the hospital is called Cronenberg. That's a reference to what's his face, a director. Oh, is he a writer? Anyway, there's Cronenberg level, um, oh, Cronenberg kind of movies, which are mostly about uh, deformed monsters. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. So we'll get to talk to about. Oh, I have text messages from this empire, this world. Max, you're busy, girl. Avoiding homework, as usual. I told you I'd help you out. Never let me help. T-O-T. -T. Oh, that's just, uh... <laughs> that's actually pretty clever. Eyes, nose, and eyes. Okay, drama, stop. And you help me by caring. I do try. By the way, I scored that killer butt from you-know-who. FYI. Save me a bowl. I gotta bounce. Talk to you later. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you want to talk, my door's open. Love you. Uh, four minutes. Okay. Have a very special 18th birthday. You're an adult now, but you're still a little girl. Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Taylor writes... Max, thanks again for taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you to, for my for a daughter instead of me. I think you're not. I think not. Your mom's a badass like you. You're yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. My stupid phone's about to die, so call me back. Nathan writes, Yo, yo, Max, you around? In the dark room, developing shots for the contest. Sweet, so no two whales for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. Oh, that's a lot of texting back and forth. Happy birthday, Maxine, from mom. We can bet, can't believe it's been 18 whole years since you were brought to us. Maxine, this is your mom. We need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just text in every class. Some teachers get super pissed when people use the phone. Yes, because it's super rude, and please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one, and that's why you, you're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. Should I could use your credit card when I needed it? I only bought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go ditch, so... I'll call you later. I have, I have to go. Don't pout. Love you. Hey, honey, I hope you didn't forget to water the plant we gave you, but don't drown it either. Chloe? Hello, Max. This is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon. Hope. I hope. Bye. Hey, Chloe. Oh, God. She didn't write for five months. Hey Chloe Maxine, I know it's been a while, just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your number. Max is back. Blackwell, that's so awesome. You rule. Best of all, you can hang out, hang again. She is still, still my number. Cool, I've got a buttload of homework, but we'll be together soon. Don't tease me, it's been too long. I know, I'll see you soon. A wavy. Emote, which is just the more sad because she can't really wave, can she? Hey Max, it's a shame that you hang out with these people. I thought you were different. Elisa, I saw you throw that TP at me. Oh my god, I was so not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. That's actually interesting. That there's only one character in this universe. Okay, and there's only one text. 
Oh, rather one page. So much to do, I wish I could slow down time, especially to register all the cool things that have happened since I'm back in Arcadia. Blackwell rules. It's not the destination, it's the journey. Which is something H.C. Anderson said. September, September 21st. Yes, I'm old and thanks to Vic and Nathan, I'm now a bit more fashionable too. They surprised me with the most beautiful straw pork pie hat wrapped up fushiki style. Best birthday party ever. Also drunkest. I can't sleep. Tape a fourth. Hey dear diary, remember me. Busy Max, busy, busy. Can't write now. Must shoot, must live, must befriend. Shoot rekindle with Chloe too, but must vortex first. Party time. So yes, he's a different girl. Can I go back and talk about Paris? He's hurting, and I'm just trying to talk to her. Sorry, I need to rest for a moment. Okay? Sure. They gave Chloe their giant, expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. Keep sighing, William. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. You look exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Being around you and Joyce again is so nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Uh, Rachel Amber, let's see. I was see reading about that her. missing girl, Rachel Amber. Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. Crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe and Joyce. My family. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. I don't know how to say this, but... I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. And she's been a trooper. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Yeah, room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but I... I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. The price is always right. Get it? No? That last name. That's why it's funny. So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I can't speak French. But it was a great experience, especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. 
It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. Dear Mr. That's Prime. Terrible. Dear Mr. Price, this letter to notify you that you are in, uh, that you are in default of your payment obligations on your home loan account 783. This current account holds the amount of 12,000 payable by August 1st, 2013. This amount has been overdue since March 1st, 2009 and you've ignored multiple requests to make a payment or reconsolidate your debt. Unless the amount of 12000 received within 15 days, you must begin the foreclosure process on your home. You can give you more than adequate notice on this issue, and we know the other options left. Best Donald Clamp lender. Uh, America. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Beats ang uh, angels, not angles. Beats angles. No, beats angels looking for the whales. Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely gateway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and tourists face the sad, surreal image of grey whales that inexplicably swam to land and to their doom. The whole parts, the whale parts, not the whole parts, the whale parts were spotted early morning on Wednesday. Some nine, and within a few hours, at least half a dozen were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales and the environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Search for popular teen continues. Blackwell Honor student Rachel Amber has not been seen for six months, yet her family and friends have only intensified the search for a 19-year-old Arcadia Bay resident. Police and FBI have few leads and little information in the case, which has caught the interest of national reality show Where Did They Go? The Amber family has offered a reward for any information linked to the whereabouts to, of their daughter. For more details, please contact Help Find Red, Rachel Amber. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Damn, the bills never end. The house looks so great. William finally had the time to paint the house and fix up the garden. Oh, dead birds. Look at all these dead birds. It's happening here too. Oh, it's a cat. I'm sorry, Bongo Kitty. But you passed on before I changed this reality. Where's the swing? Of course they removed the swing because she can't use it. Chloe actually moved our drawing so she could see it from her room. Oh, Chloe. Oh, man. The swing is gone now. It must have been... Sad for Chloe when William took it down. I'm glad Chloe gets a room with a view. He has the garage in there, usually. Choice is a food coupon, boss. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Hook, line, singer, ass kicking, robot leg. What? H L S A K R L. Nothing like that. Missing donuts. <laughs> Stupid phone. Kitty. Liars. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. They're drowning in debt, just Happy to take care of their daughter. Happy credit Such card service. Dear Ms. Mr. and Mrs. Price, your joint account has been closed and is now six months overdue. Please send a check or money order for $3,458 payable to Happy Credit Card. 
Arcadia Bay Physical Rehabilitation. Dear Mr. Pri- Mrs. Price, due to a recent state federal cuts, we regret to inform you that your health insurance no longer covers Chloe's physical rehab. You can reinstate Chloe at a standard rate of $1,250 per week. Oh, fuck's sake. Open. Joyce oh, now. Max, it is so nice to have you around. I'm just walking into a room. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. I have holidays with William and Chloe. She's pregnant. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Super Dad, be the family hero. Dr. Bill. At least the bird's not in here. Oh no. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's injury really was. Oh shit. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Price, as we discussed last week, Chloe's respiratory system is showing signs of rapid weakening. This accounts for her recent anima anemia. Anime, uh, loss of breath. As a doctor, I'm committed to her well-being, but I want you to understand the reality that respiratory failure is common in people with severe spinal injuries. It does one of the bravest, strongest patients I've ever had, and I'm proud to be working with her. Just want you as parents prepare for any and all possibilities. I believe Chloe should also be made aware of her changing condition. If you'd like to discuss this further, you have my contact information. Best Dr. Anton Fipes. Anton. Anton. Let me let me just open this drawer. Right? Joyce is already a super mom. Super mom, lead the family. It's good for Chloe. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. What are we saying? Good morning, Max. Ah, oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Accident. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I are lucky to have him. Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? For better and for worse. But always for the better. I... I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. <laughs> Sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. Joyce. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult, but nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Wait. Is my mouse dead? Oh, what happened? Sorry, gotta make a bing bong. Hello? All oh, right, there we go. Eh, none of work. Plus, you guys have to work too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. David Madsen. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the Two Wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w- I was just curious. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco-havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except... Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. 
So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Who helps Chloe out when you guys are at work? We have a series of revolving nurses and caretakers. <laughs> Chloe still causes trouble, even if she can't move. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, choice. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family, and we'll always be one, no matter what. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Well, shit. Turn on a light. Nope. I uh, have a bit of a fear of dark bathrooms after playing Omori. Oh, there it is. How's it going, Time Tripper? Funny. I think I look older. Thanks to the outfit. Kind of look like Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. The bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. Here, yeah, yet. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. Nothing here. Other than pill bottles. <laughs> yeah. Switch off. Let's see her room. Chloe's door doesn't have a warning anymore. Nothing here. Blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. I am super envious of the creativity gone into that. Eh, <laughs> high charts here. 2005 is the last one. I guess we stopped growing up together. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Ah, oh, the music in this game. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bill. Sorry for not staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and I'm, and I'm being sent to Salt Lake City to oversee a new parking lot. I have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. Money's nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a visit. Kiss Chloe and Joyce for me. Hang in there, Billy. Your brother, Aaron. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. They bought crutches for Chloe, hoping she might walk again. Oh, fuck. Come on. Come on, game. You're hurting me. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. 
Dear Joyce, thank you for keeping me updated on Chloe's condition. I can only imagine the struggle you and William are going through. I am so sorry I can't help you with a loan at this time. Like everybody else, I am underwater with any with own medical bills. Please give Chloe a hug and my best wishes. Love on Dorothy. Nice view. Quite a view. Oh, I can actually. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. Right, right. Nothing else to do down here then. No oh, keys. That's it. Open. Hello, Chloe. Is that salt thick? I think they were famous back then. Famous. They were something. Finally. Uh, give me the blue pill. I'm sorry. I'm nosy, but not precise. Go ahead and plug it right in. It's so easy. And painless. Um, okay, but get ready to yell for your folks if I screw up. Oh, trust me. I will. Of course, my pain just keeps getting worse. But you caught me on a good day. Max, I'm so grateful that I'm even able to hang out with you. See, I'm getting mushy. I'm already high. <laughs> You're so adorable. Do you want anything else? Um, stop me if I'm being too emo, but can you grab one of the photo albums over there? I'd like to check out some old pictures of us when we were kids. Please, my diary is like emo ground zero. Plus, Max Caulfield does not pass up a photo op with Chloe Price. Ever. Where was it? Over here somewhere. Photo album. Look. So Chloe has her own photo album. Take. Is that okay? Perfect. Oh my god. Look how little we are there. We look like toys. I remember that day by the lighthouse. My dad was pissed at us. He actually tried to give us a time out. And you laughed at him. <laughs> my dad would have banished me. Turn page. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. There's still time for you. Come on, Chloe. Oh man, there we are making pancakes. I love that shot of us. It's hard to believe my dad took that picture only five years ago. Literally seems like yesterday. I wish it was. Me too. This photo... Maybe I could... Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible and you made me feel that way today. 
I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? Yes, I do. All you have to do is crank up the IV to 11. I want to say I don't know first, actually. Chloe, I, I really don't know if I can do this. I had another friend who wa wanted to end it all, and I did everything I could to try and save her life. How can I be responsible for ending yours? I mean, th there's got to be another way. Max, you were there for your friend. No matter what. Now I'm asking you to help me the same way. I want to help you, Chloe, but... I, I think my help is hurting. At least you have a choice. When you want to make a decision, you can just do it. Look at me. I'm at the mercy of... everybody. For once, I want to make my own choice. The most important one of my life. Please. Help me, Max. Chloe. I'll just drift asleep. Dreaming of us here together. Forever. Thank you so much. I'm so proud of you for following your dreams. Don't forget about me. Never. I love you, Max. See you around. Sooner than you think. Sorry, William. <laughs> Someday Dad will get one of them newfangled computers. I hope the flash didn't scare you, Max. This is a keeper. Hello? Hey, honey. What? Oh, I didn't know you had to get groceries. Of course I'll come pick you up. Shit, where are my keys? That's a dollar for the swear jar. You mean your college fund? Jesus. Aha! You can't hide from me forever. And no Chloe and Max wine tasting sessions. Dad. Don't blow it, because tonight your mother promised to make us a world famous salmon surprise with chocolate cake for dessert. Max, you'll be here too, right? She's never leaving me. That makes all of us. Max, you are being so fucking strange. Like you're never gonna see us again. Chloe, 
I'm so sorry. I tried to make things different for you. I, I did try. I'm sorry. I don't know exactly what you're talking about, but come on. You have made things different, like my whole life. You're my best friend. I've got you and a great family. What's to be sorry for? We'll be best friends forever. And when we grow up, we're taking over the world. Listen, whatever happens, I want you to be strong. Even if you feel like I wasn't there for you. Because I will never abandon you, Chloe. I'll always have your back. Always. Hey, some Amanda, other Amanda Palmer. I think this was actually the game that introduced me to her. Chloe, you're alive. Yes. Whoa, whoa, down, Max. You get one kiss, now you're all over me. I'm just. I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Max, did you forget we've gone over this? I hope you weren't messing around with time while I was sleeping. Not anymore. I'm just spaced out too. Welcome back to the real world. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. Let's ah, look at the big song. board and see all our pieces in the puzzle so far. That's my Chloe. The bad girl's guide to guns. <clears throat> Damn. This is a serious expose on the Prescotts. Finally. The Prescott's Pan Estates, Heaven or Hell, by Craig Kennedy. K Kennedy. The name Prescott may not mean much to you or to those outside the edge of a small coastal Oregon town, but this is a name that means quite a bit in Arcadia Bay, a quaint town seemingly stuck in time. Once a home to the pr pr prosperous fishing and tourism industry, the town has seen much better paydays despite the local success of the prestigious Blackwell Academy and its football and swimming teams, the Bigfoots and the others. Environmental changes to the area have reduced the amount of fish and other sea life, resulting in a stagnant economy and limited tourism. Partly, the Prescotts have managed to keep the business interest quite profitable. In fact, they're behind an expensive exclusive housing development known as Penn Estates to be built into the deep forest near Blackwell Academy. 
Local Native American groups have already filed various motions against the development, citing widespread destruction of tribal lands and natural resources. Continue on the next page. Even Holmes and Watson didn't use every piece of information. Staying up all night is the best excuse to drink lots of coffee. Lots of. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. I have the comics, but I'm not sure if she actually ever told them. Told her. Yes, Chloe Price was here. Disgusting. There's Chloe's cash stash. Sorry, Principal Wells. I'm so sorry, William. It's not fair you had to die twice. I'm getting lost in all this shit. This butterfly photo seems like a million years ago. How much time have I altered since? All right. It's a snow doe. That snow doe always makes me think of William and Chloe. What are you wearing today? A skull butterfly. A chicken sticker. I'm gonna read this then. Holy shit, that's a lot of pages. Um, mm -hmm. I should really note down uh, where I finish. I had a notebook once sitting on my desk, but it's gone because I figured I'll never write that again. I think I just have to find the end of this last episode, or rather, fire one. Around here, right? Hello, dear diary, October 9th. I have the power to rewind time and end up at a rooftop trying to stop my friend from jumping off while trying to prevent the possible destruction of my hometown. I fell asleep at my desk and woke up reaching out to rewind or grab Kate. I remember when my journal entries were about uh, which anime character I wanted to be, or my dreams were of being a respected globe hopping photographer. Know what me and Chloe would be doing when we are finally adults, so at least we knew now, the, the, at least we know how that turned out so far. Chloe's determined to get to the bottom of what's going on, so I've been playing what could, would Chloe do, like what would Carmen San Diego be, uh, where, where, where in the world is Carmen San Diego, what would Chloe do, which means blowing off my Blackwell homework to research anything and everything I can find on Kate Marsh, Rachel Amber and the esteemed Prescotts. We put too easy peasy if they were all connected. But at this point, comma, I think the whole town of Arcadia Bay is connected to this crazy shit. Can already see the story in the National Geographic channel. Mystic, scientific, or apocalyptic, the Arcadia Bay tornado. Shut up. Speaking of fear, I still think about Kate and the sadness in her eyes on that roof. I'm so grateful she's alive. I love seeing the students at Blackwell show their support for her with gifts and flowers. Finally. At least I feel better now that Nathan is suspended. It's good he's off campus for a few days, I hope. And like I give a shit if the Prescott family sends a team of lawyers after me. Please, I doubt they would look like all the publicity. I doubt their tentacles reach into the rest of Oregon. Not yet, anyway. Leave it to Chloe to make me sneak out past curfew and demand I meet her in front of the main building in the dead of the night. I knew Chloe would be all over investigating the campus after what just happened to Kate. This just makes Chloe more desperate to find out what happened. To Rachel, if anything. 
It's funny that even though I think I can just rewind myself out of trouble, I'm in more trouble now than ever before in my life. It, if if this was a Twilight Zone story, I'd be setting up some for some. I'd be getting set up for some serious irony, like I'm going to rewind myself out of existence or something. Can I honestly say I'll have this ability for for the rest of my life? Are the tornado, the snow, and the eclipse just hallucinations, or are they genuine prophecy? More importantly, is this a curse or a blessing? Close alive and by my side, and that has to be a miracle, which means there must be a way to stop my vision from coming true, right? So yes, I broke curfew to hook up with Chloe. She said she had something to show me. Looks like it's time for some serious detective work. Enter the Blackwell Ninjas. Keymaster Chloe. As I stealthily made my way out of the hall, I passed by Kate's door and saw all of the nice messages from other students. Too bad most of Blackwell didn't care when they passed around the video and bullied her to the roof. Everybody else, everybody, everybody always cares when it's too late. At least Kate will see the people, the people on her side. Finally, I hope we can visit her when all this blows over. Maybe that's not a good choice of words. I want to. Damn, that was close. I was doing so well until I got outside, and of course, it was Principal Wells of all people blocking the way. The one person I least wanted to see. I wasn't ninja enough for him, so yeah, he busted me. No, he didn't. I didn't get busted. I stuck right past. You, you, you can see that on my channel. Principal Wells was shit-faced. He didn't even try to hide it. In fact, he was a lot cooler drunk than sober. I can see why he's so confused, dealing with Kate's family and the press cuts and David Madsen. He still acts suspicious and gives me way too much stewed, which is short form for attitude, as he would say. Nobody says that seriously. But I can see that he's under a lot of pressure, so much that he's so wasted he can't even use his keys at midnight. Sure, he was in my way, but he was no match for my rewind power. After all, I had to go and meet Chloe. Bad Max. I have a feeling that it was canon that I was going to be caught, but I was too good. Even though I thought I was in full ninja mode, Chloe still scared the shit out of me, which pisses, pissed me off considering what I've been going through. Sometimes she's just damn insensitive to other people's feelings. She wants all my attention for her and finding Re Rachel, and she gets all butthurt if I don't have time for her. Obviously I have time in hand, but I can't stay mad at her for long, and she was so damn excited about having the keys to the main building. And honestly, I was pretty amped too. Even more so when we went to the front of the building and spied on Victoria talking smack about me. <gasps> Shocked. And worse, actually trying to blackmail Mr. Jefferson to pick her photo for the Everyday Heroes contest. She's freaking unreal. I give Mr. Jefferson respect, major respect for telling her to get lost, even though she deserved to be expelled for pulling that crap. This is her priority after what happened with Kate. I just don't understand Victoria, no matter how I try. She's already rich, pretty, and a good photographer. Why try so hard and hurt so many to many people, everything, everything already in your favor? I just hope that's not what I'm doing with my rewind power. Yes, there's something incredibly awesome about breaking into your own school at the witching hour, although Chloe was technically right. How can we break in with a key? Never mind that it was a stolen key from the school's head of security. Anyway, the Blackwell Ninja strike again. So cool to stalk the halls when it's dark and quiet. Even with so many terrible things happening all around us, it felt like Chloe and I were walking towards the center of a great cosmic mystery. Something bigger than any of us. But we kind of suck as master spies since we didn't have a key for the principal office. No worries with my rewind power at hand. And of course, Dr. Warren Graham, Graham, he came through with a bitching mini bomb made of sodium what the fuck ever. I probably learned more putting those ingredients together than the entire semester so far. Sorry, Miss Grant. Warren is a star student here. He tries so hard to help, maybe too much, but what's wrong with that these days? I'm so grateful he's on my team. Talk about being in the Sancto Sanctorum. Thanks, Latin class. I barely passed. Of Blackwell. I did feel freaking weird about being in the principal's office after midnight, going through his files on laptop with Chloe. She was way too into it. Technically, we could be arrested and thrown in jail. Yikes. I just pretended that we were on a special episode of the Wizards of Waverly Place, you know, just a couple of wacky Sherlocks investigating the school for a good cause. Yeah, that helped. Well, if we didn't find the proof, we found Nathan's file had a weird drawing in it that just said Rachel in a dark room over and over. So that's a major clue that Nathan is involved in this somehow, or he's just insane. 
But his notice always also referenced David M, which means that we absolutely have to find a way into David's secret bunker files for a good cause. But Chloe just can't help herself and she actually took five grand in cash marked handicap fund. Cause that's gotta be legit legit, right? I can't figure of a faster route to Karma Hill, but it would be a close step to Frank. I'll find a way to make it up to the fund. After all, saving a life is priority. As is my habit with Chloe, no matter what, our fates seem bound together, for better or worse. Usually worse. Despite all the usual breaking in and blowing up office hijinks, Chloe decided that we need to, uh, what we needed more than anything was to make a night swim in the otter's lair. I was so giddy and rebellious that I was like, oh yes, we shall swim. We didn't completely skinny dip, but close enough to get in trouble no matter what. I don't know why we were so careless after being so careful. I love that Chloe brings out the just don't give a fuck side of me. Even though that hasn't always served her well. She deserved a moment of not giving a shit. Me too. Just two friends goofing around in the pool. I fear those youthful shenanigans might soon be a thing of our past. God, I'm starting to sound like one of our teachers at Blackwell. Chloe and I had a nice chat about our lives since I left. We talked about dumb boys and girls and why they're trouble, especially for me. I feel like a groupie when I talk to Chloe about our life experience. She has me so beat. I take pictures, she takes action. Speaking of action, we had to seriously bounce when security showed up. Duh. How quiet would it be in the swimming pool? What could we be in a swimming pool? Plus after, plus after leaving the trail of our black world handiwork. It was so intense and exciting to get past the security guards. They had serious spotlight power, so it wasn't exactly easy to stealth our way past. Especially as we had to bail in Chloe's junker. But like I said, intense and exciting. Hella like Chloe Price. Even though my body smelled like I'd been doused in chlorine, it was so nice to crash in Chloe's room for the first time in five years and wake up next to her like an old sleepover. For some reason, it reminded me of the time we were going to TP one of the neighbor's house and we even snuck out but got chicken and ran back home, laughing all the way. I remember waking up the next day and Joyce was making one of her delish breakfasts downstairs and Chloe smiled at me like we were in the most secret club in the world, or at least Arcadia Bay. We were pirates, damn it. After our academic, academic experience last night, I felt the same way. It's just that now the stakes are much higher and much more dangerous. I even ended up in some of Rachel Amber's clothes since men refreshed or trashed rather, a band tee and ripped jeans, so not me. But I haven't found my style yet, so why not have some fun experimenting with a new outfit? Speaking of experiments, Chloe dared me to kiss her, so I did. She probably thought that was out. Why? It wasn't that big of a deal. Though it was cute the way she was kind of embarrassed after, and she said, uh, said she would tell Warren. Besides, I think Chloe sees Rachel Amber in her future. When I went to, down to breakfast, Joyce actually called me racer, which just seems so wrong considering how beautiful she is and how boring I am. I guess my new outfit really is working. It's magic. I ended up helping Joyce make breakfast just like when I was a kid on a sleepover. It's hard how quickly you can fall back into old routines. So I must have set off Joyce's nostalgia mode since she bust out the old photo album. I'm one of the few people who loves checking out old pictures. What was that, a Fred Hitchcock line about film being pieces of time? Like Mr. Jefferson said, so are photo photographs. I do think she wanted me to see her new husband at Bell Light. When David was happy or laughing with Joyce in the picture, I wanted to say, who, and who is that? Plus, I'm sure it's no accident there was a photo of Rachel wearing the exact same clothes I had on. She truly is stunning and somehow looked more punk rock than Chloe. The truly heartbreaking image was, image was the last photo William Price ever took. Chloe and I making pancakes in the kitchen. Joyce really misses that joyful, optimistic girl. I know she's still there. When Chloe smiled at me this morning, I saw her. The picture seemed to sum up everything we had as children and lost as adults. Whatever being an adult means. Which was the perfect cue for Chloe to bounce into the room and start shit with Joyce. This gave me cruel cover so I could sneak into the garage and finally unlock David Madsen's extreme files. So today I finally found out what was in David's secret files and I admit I expected it to be worse. I'm relieved that it wasn't, so maybe I'm going easier on him than I should. No surprise that he had detailed files on Kate and Rachel listing their whereabouts along with surveillance pics. David isn't off my shit list yet, but he's a damn good investigator, I'll give him that. It's clear that Frank and Rachel had some kind of relationship, and I don't think Chloe's going to be very happy to hear that. She needs to start waking up. We all do. When David came home, things escalated quickly. He looked more upset than usual, but shrugged when he saw me wearing Rachel's clothes. He was so on edge. Maybe I'll never get to see the David that Joyce loves so much. She and Chloe really let him have it, though. This was the first time I saw them bond since we were kids. 
Suddenly I couldn't take it anymore either, and I kind of blew up. It was like a torrent that felt awesome. I've been wanting to rip into David like that myself for a long time. I figured worst case scenario, Halo rewind power, but I wanted Joyce to know the depths of his weird paranoia. She looked so sad and angry when I told her about the photos of Rachel and Kate, not to mention the home surveillance. Joyce kicked his ass out of the house to close Sklee. What are the whales doing? This We lost control. Despite David's evidence and the bracelet, Chloe refused to believe Rachel was involved with uh, Frank. This is a part of Chloe I don't like much. Much like I don't much like. She gets so damn petulant if she doesn't get away. Or if she hears something she doesn't like, serious denial. I get why, but that doesn't make dealing with it any easier. So I threw my hands up and suggested we check out Frank's RV. I knew that would piss Chloe off and she would do anything to find out what kind of relationship he had with Rachel. But first we had to get to the damn keys to the get the damn keys to the RV, which meant going into a two whales dying and bouncing like a rewind pinball between Frank, Nathan Prescott and Officer Barry and fucking with all of them. I'm still dizzy thinking about how I pulled that off. Yay for Max. Sometimes I feel like I'm just cheating at life. First thing we had to do was to get Frank's scary dog out of the RV, so we did the classic cartoon, give a dog a bone, routine, and Kujuk became Scooby-Doo just like that. Frank's RV was pretty much what I expected drug dealer trash chick what well, i expected drug expect okay frank's army was pretty much what i expected full stop drug dealer trash chick but it wasn't a serial killer as i feared we ransacked the place and found what chloe didn't want us to find i'm sorry chloe had to see the pictures of rachel posing for frank even if she did care about him to her it's just another betrayal just another loved one dumping on her everybody she ever loved she lost one way or another only i came back from the past for what? To make Chloe's, Chloe's life more painful? I just wish I could see my re use my rewind power to go all the way back to the days when we were covered in pancake flour. Life was life was simple. October 10th, dear diary, let's never do the time warp again. I can't even begin to explain what happened if I think too hard about the ramifications. My brain might melt. When I try to describe it, it's, uh, it's as if I'm describing something that happened to someone else. Chloe was so upset when we discovered a race lab actually been involved with Frank Bowers. And she just blew up. I can never talk to her when she's like this, and I just get so tired of having to walk on eggshells around her emotions. She still blames William for her messed up life, no matter how much she knows she's being unfair. I can't say that she wouldn't be just as messed up, not that I'm not, not in my own way. In my room, all I can think of was I wish I could go back in time and help Chloe. And suddenly I was looking at a photograph William had taken of us on the day he died. And it started pulsing like it was 3D, like I could see inside the photograph. Then I found myself actually back in a photo to when I was 13 years old. I was back in Chloe's kitchen in the year 2008. With Chloe and William. Right before he left to pick up Joyce for the last time. Since my power somehow morphed to this new level of rewind, I decided there was no way I was going to let William die again. So I applied hide the keys and she had no other option but to take the bus. I was so happy I actually saved William. I never thought about what could go wrong. I knew I was screwed when it came out of my epic rewind and saw Victoria Chase. But now she was my friend and I was a member of the Vortex Club. Enough said. My hair is getting pulled by the stars again. I knew I'd screwed up and then I felt sick thinking about what might have changed with Chloe. I had a clue when I saw David Madsen driving a school bus. He sure didn't look so threatening anymore. I didn't want to know how he ended up as a bus driver instead of a choice. I felt my heart drop when I rushed to Chloe's house. So when William opened the door I prepared myself for the worst. That's when Chloe rolled forward in her wheelchair, paralyzed from the neck down. I didn't even know what to say, so I covered my mouth in a typical gesture of shock and stupid. But Chloe's smile was so genuine and uh, beautiful, I almost cried. I had to adjust to everything without freaking out or telling Chloe to actually alter time and space to save her father but get her in a car accident so she can never walk again. The thing is, she was still Chloe, just minus all the rage. This Chloe was just grateful to be alive and have her family watching over her. Chloe begged me to spend the night, and of course I did. I noticed how run down parts of her their home were compared to before. I saw the incredibly expensive equipment that Chloe now requires, including a new garage room. Sorry, David. Even though I felt awful and disconnected, Chloe was just so bubbly and excited to hang out with me again, especially since I flaked on her pretty hardcore after her accident. Even in an alternate universe, I'm a shitty friend. Chloe's world was so new and unique to me, especially her strength, strength and kindness and pain. It's need a whole pharmacy to get through the day. I didn't feel sorry for her. I fell in awe with her attitude. This Chloe didn't blame anybody for her condition, even though she had the right. 
strolled down a beach and saw the beached whales that proved something bad was happening in both realities. And then Chloe asked me to put her to sleep. The accident left her body pretty much broken. Her lungs stopped working properly and she was basically dying a slow, painful death. She also felt so guilty about her parents, parents' sacrifice and dwindling income. She wasn't erratic or tortured about this request, just practical. Which made me feel even more terrible for putting her in this situation. I agreed to help her simply because she explained that she wanted to have a choice for the last time in her life. How could I argue with that? Especially since I knew I screwed up the entire universe by making a simple decision. And I knew I would have to go back eventually and accept the time that actually happened. So Chloe and I had one last movie night, watching Blade Runner, falling asleep to the sounds of Angelus. And when I woke up, I put my best friend to sleep forever. After my visit to Chloe's new world, I knew it was time to go, to go max to the future. I had seen the results of my temporal tampering and got scared, thinking my new power wouldn't even work anymore. That would have been cruel karma. Fortunately, I was able to protect myself as a photographic once again. And I undid everything I had done. Goodbye, William. Again. Hello, David. Again. So page 55. Let's try and remember. Let's see. So many text messages. Wow. What does Warren say? Uh... Thanks for helping with my experiment, Dr. Max Stein. I didn't help at all. You did enough so that I got an A- instead of a B+. I was, stressed, uh, I was stressed about. Okay, I'll take credit for your success. Congrats, I rule. Even though A- is such a bullshit grade. A-? minus. Somehow I think you'll survive. Tell that to my folks. Got a jam bathroom. Thanks for sharing. Uh, 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 uh. Maxine, what the heck is going on with the weather up there? Are they doing military tests or something? You're right in the eye of a storm. No comment. I've kept Lisa alive through the old days, so he's still safe. As long as you're around. Now back to the books. Talk soon. XO Maxo. Hello, Kate. Uh... Max, how are you? I hope you can still visit me this week. I have some important things to talk about. Of course I'm still coming to visit you. You can't stop me. I miss you and my bunny. We all miss you and your bunny misses you. Yay, you're such a great friend. Thank you so much. Can't wait to see you. XO Maxo. Justin. Uh, Sorry, my phone was in the back. Hey, Justin, you busy? Max Wax, I'm busy blazing. What up? Do you know Frank Bowers? Drugs. That's it? Ask Nathan. He knows him, I think. Okay, I'm on it. Thanks, Justin. For what? Let's see. Uh, hey, Juliet. Are you busy? No time to be busy. You never text me. What's going on? Besides everything, I was just curious if you heard of a guy named Frank who lives in an RV around town. You mean a van down by the river? Very really sketchy method. That's about it. Why, are you doing your own investigation without my help? No, just bored. Talk soon, thanks. Okay, but you can't keep secrets from your ace reported Juliet Watson. Hello? Oh, poor Juliet. Hello, Dad. Uh, uh, what? Hey honey, I just got a weird text warning me that my nosy daughter better stop watching others and look out for herself. Is this some kind of school prank? It's from a blocked number. Oh, I'm so sorry, some jackass in my class thought that would be funny to send. It's not, I don't like strangers having my number, okay. Me neither, sorry. I'm just being a dad, I don't know it's, this has been a tough week for you. It's almost over, I'll call you guys later. Courtney, hey girlfriend, let me know when you want to come by my room and I'll give you a fashion makeover. That's a lot of... Big glasses. Oh, thanks, Courtney. I'm swamped with homework now, but I'll check in with you later. Thanks again for the offer. And Chloe. Uh, hey, man. I suck again. Sorry I got in your face today. Took out my bullshit raid to my best friend. 
Chloe, I understand. You're going through a lot. We all are. Besides, I threw your beanie out the window and bust up my rewind. Okay, that is one no one get out of emoji jail free card. But we need to stock up on six coffee and candy for an all nighter. We have to get into racial and kick detective mode. Excellent, dear Watson. I'll bring my thinking cap. No worries, I have a beanie. I'll swing by and pick you up. Sweet, I'll be ready. XOXO, and that was no emoji. We all caught up. Back to the game. So close, yet so far away. We have to do three main things. Right. Uh, what things? One, decipher Frank's logbook. Two, get Nathan's phone to find out where he's been during the Vortex Club parties with Kate and Rachel. And see whatever hidden shit he's got in his messages. Three, beat Step Douche Dan until he tells us about Frank, Nathan, and the Dark Room. And I do have a gun now. Keep it in your pants. We'll have to do this on our own. Dude, at least let me kick his ass, then rewind. <sighs> Fine, whatevs. It's your power. Which I can't waste on shit like that. Or Blackwell would be in big trouble. At least you let me take that money to pay Frank off. <sighs> Don't remind me. I just want him off your back. Our back. I know. You should get busy in the garage to see what dirt you can dig up. I'm gonna cyberstalk some names and see where that leads. Or to who. And be careful of Stepcrack. He's not gonna be a happy camper after you reamed him yesterday and Mom is giving him the boot. I'm on it, partner. Wouldn't he be gone by now? I can't abuse this level of my rewind power. It's way too dangerous, and I need to navigate the present without messing up the past. I wish I could tell Chloe how much William cared about her. Let's be right back. Welcome back to the real world, Max. I don't think I can ever tell Chloe about what happened. All right, space get up. Let's go out the door. Oh, oh no, little bird. that poor little bird has been trapped in here. Still trapped. In here somewhere. Up there again. Um, how do I get it out? I need to open a window, I think. Window, open. Come on, fly, my friend. Fly, be free. Blue dye makes me so happy. It means the real Chloe is back with me. What's in there anyway? This might be the last poster advertising Arcadia Bay after tomorrow night. Since David might be in there, I better mosey along for a change. Nope, he's right there. Hmm. 
You won this battle, Max. You broke up my family. I salute you. David, I didn't try to hurt you, ever. But I won't let anybody hurt Chloe. Too late, isn't it? You just better be damn careful with her. Don't you wander off into the dark. David isn't any different from me when he's looking at those family photos. Um, yo, yo, Max, your friend Chloe texts me that I'm out of the loop now. She sounds hot, so I get why. What? <laughs> Chloe actually texted you? I sure didn't have her number. Now I get to get why you didn't want to go ape, ape with me. You should go with Chloe. She looks cool enough for you. I have a lot of cool friends, like you. Yes, you do. Just my luck. And mine. I have to jet. Talk to you later. I hope so. Chloe's being a possessive. Those poor whales are like beached angels. What is going on here? Looks like they're back on the road to Paris. Ouch. David, do not be here when I get back from work. I mean it. J. Price. I'll sit down again. Somehow, I existed in this whole other reality. But I, I don't know what happened. The more I use my power, the more I see how little control I have over what happens. Now, Max Caulfield exists in two or maybe three different realities. How can I have a destiny? If these alternate lives exist, I hate the thought of William and Joyce finding Chloe like that. <sighs> Thinking about all these lifelines almost makes my head hurt worse than the rewind. That is music. Make me weak. Weak need. It's coming for me. It's gonna beat me up. To think this all started with my vision of a tornado. <clears throat> Eco-apocalypse now. While Acadia Bay was until now considered a quaint fishing and tourist nook on the Oregon coast, the town that time forgot is since the beginning of this week with a little eye of an environmental storm. Now, starting with a freak snowfall and unprecedented eclipse, dying birds and now half a dozen beach whales, Acadia Bay's strange weather is being studied by prominent state and national scientists. Apparently, including NASA. 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 What's even more incredible than these eco phenomena is the fact that not a single meteorologist has offered any actual theory or even reason for this atmospheric havoc. More dead birds. William never finished painting that wall. Poor birds. I guess David wasn't in the mood to clean up. No. Understandable. Bum, 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 bum. Joyce must be so upset. Are you helping anybody, Max? Looks like David finished his car repairs. Maybe there's some new clues around. Stupid dog. Winston barking. 
note. What the hell did David do for Nathan? And what did his dad do for David? Mr. Madsen, thank you for your help for Nathan. It is appreciated. Best, Sean Prescott. Either Chloe stole another gun, or David is out there armed. That's not good. Oh, that makes me sad. It was so incredible to see William again. I wish Chloe could too. Oh, jeez. David is packing up wedding stuff too. There's more to David Madsen than meets the eye. He should finish this letter to Joyce. Joyce, I, you know I'm not good at explaining myself and why I act the way I do sometimes. I only know that no, nobody has ever understood me the way you do. I would never do anything to hurt you or Chloe. Taking care of my family is my number one mission. Yes, I always step bounds with the surveillance suspicion. I'm truly sorry and ashamed. But there are dark things happening in Arcadia Bay I've never told you. You're my wife and partner. I know we should have no secrets. I intend to tell you everything, but I want more proof. Instead, a student almost committed suicide my watch, and you kicked me out of my favorite home, and my stepdaughter hates me. Please let me... Then it just ends. Email. Should I have signed the petition? Blackwell sure isn't safe and private anymore. From Raymond Wells to David Madsen. Despite our rather heated discussion about the successful petition to block a campus surveillance system, I'm still interested in your feedback on all the methods of improving Blackwell security. You must find a middle ground between safety and privacy for our students. Best principal Oh, Wells. meow, Miss Grant. Twist that knife. I didn't need surveillance cam camera to see this suspension coming. Best of luck to you. That's At a... least he has one weird fan. From Anonymous to David Madsen. Dear Mr. Madsen, I just want to let you know that I think it's bullshit what happened to you at the school after... Uh, and this school has too many lip-tarts metrosexuals who don't appreciate you or the military. Ah, uh, fuck. I felt safe in my dorm when you were in charge and I thought about you protecting me. I hope you will come back to Blackwell and make sure we're all safe at night. I'm scared of this school. Ugh. Wish I had surveillance footage of that conversation. From David Madison to Raymond Wells. I apologize for my outburst yesterday in your office. I was upset about losing my position at Blackwell without a complete investigation of the facts and based solely on the claims of untrustworthy students. It's a cancer at Blackwell Academy and without me it will continue to spread. Really? Surveillance cameras at Pan Estates? David must be working for the Prescotts, too. Liars. I wonder if David is going to the party. There's a locker with a padlock on it. Whoa, that is a serious padlock on that locker. Hey, David, what you hiding? Um, what would for that be? once, I don't have time to search for the code. Oh, and I need to find a way to break this padlock. Oh, look at the baby blue jay eggs in the nest. I, I better move his plank if I want to take the shot. Excuse me. Just one picture, please. I said the blue day out. <laughs> Click. Another photo from my Arcadia Bay wildlife series. Oh, thank you. Sleep tight, my eggy eggs. My eggy eggs. Um, what would the bad luck code maybe be? Okay, I can use that crowbar to pry open the locker. Sorry, David, but I bet you would do the same thing as me. Oh, maps. 
notes, coordinates, photos of Kate, Nathan. Oh, yes. More than before. Kate Marsh, she knows something. <laughs> that's, uh, that's kind of messed up. That's a lot of uh, location information on the student. And Warren beating up, or rather Nathan beating up Warren. Hmm. And a picture of me. Or rather, Max. Score. Back to Chloe now. There we go. Yo, Chloe! Are you ready yet? I have to get back to my dorm. Are we happy? Very happy. I hit the secret file jackpot. Kate, Nathan, and Rachel. Plus some location coordinates. David is like a one-man surveillance army. Now let's get the hell out of here before we get busted. But I absolutely have to go see Kate in the hospital right now. I want to find out how she's doing. This is definitely Kate's floor. The hospitals always freak me out. I, I hear you. But imagine how Kate feels. I'm so glad I, I get to see her again. I hope it's not too weird for her. No, she'll be stoked to see you. Who wouldn't be? This be it. I'm a little nervous. Just go in there and be your friend. I'll wait out here so you can chill by yourselves. I wasn't Total dick for blowing a fuse when you answered Kate's call the other day. Good thing you ignored me. I had no idea what shit she was going through. And you saved her. Like me. I'm sorry. Thanks for saying sorry. Thanks, Chloe. But don't be sorry. We're all on the same team. Team Max. Let Kate know we're gonna string Nathan up by his balls then. Oh yes. <laughs> I'm on it. Hello, Kate. That's a smile for the ages. Max. Oh, Kate. I thought I'd never see you again. I feel so ridiculous. I'm so sorry. Kate. Listen to me. You have nothing to be sorry about. Other people do. You do not know how happy I am to see you. You look awesome. Is it a stupid question if I ask how you're doing? Now that you're here, I'm doing even better. I'm so grateful to you for coming up to the roof to talk me down. Max, I felt so lost and alone. When I saw how much you cared, how hard you were trying, you made me realize I wasn't alone. Thank you. Kate, there are so many people who love you and want to help you. I know. You should see all the letters and postcards. I gave most of the flowers to other patients here because they need them more than me. <laughs> I'm keeping the balloons, though. One of the nurses gave me some pen and paper so I could do some drawings. A mouse. I love and your illustrations. Bunny. They got kind of dark there for a while. But I have an idea for a new children's book about bullying. I was thinking of having some photographs in there, too. I hope that's a subtle hint that you'll let me take the photographs for the book. Was that subtle? <laughs> you better take the pictures, Max. I'm going to be here for another day until my family comes out to visit. How are they treating you? Like they need to protect me forever. They're so upset, and I know they feel guilty even though they didn't do anything. I was surprised how many students from Blackwell wrote me. Daniel, Mr. Jefferson, even Victoria wrote me a very sweet note. And I believe she was being real. Me too. 
I'm glad you believe again, Kate. I'm working on it, Max. I just pray I can get this drawing right. Yeah. Oh, sit. Look first. Principal Wells knows how to step it up when he wants to. Uh, from Raymond Wells to Kate Marsh. Dear Kate, I just want to express my deepest wish for a speed recovery and that Blackwell is ununited in prayers for your return. The students and faculty have organized a rally in Yon and I've never seen such an outpouring of academic, academic and commu community support for any student in our history. I know my words may mean little given your circumstances, but it's important you know what we do, that we do care. Need any assistance at all, please do not hesitate to ask. Sincerely, Principal Ray Wells. Everybody loves Raymond. Thank you, sisters. You really saved Kate. Well, I did use the dad as an example, not the sisters. That is so sweet. Even Victoria signed. In our hearts but not Nathan. and thoughts. Stella, something, river, well, Max have apparently signed. I just didn't see that. Blackwell Academy, we love you, Kate, Trevor, Warren, Victoria. Victoria Chase might be queen bitch, but she's not evil. Kate, I know you hate men, you should, should, but I only want you to see your smile again. Please let me know if you need anything. XO Vic. Good to see that Kate is still working on her book report. Oh, I love Kate's happy rainbow flock. I miss my banana. Mustard board cat. Where is she? Here. Balloons. I don't think get well is quite apropos. If this gets Kate through the night, so be it. Those are nice flowers. And from Taylor? Wow, props to her. Yep, Taylor's flower. That was us. It's amazing to just sit here quiet with Kate again. I don't think I'll ever know how much destiny I'm changing. But whoever said we only have a single fate? Ugh, time travel is such a mindfuck. Yes, he's doing it all willy nilly. Let's talk to Kate. That is so good to know that Kate is drawing again. Kate, it is so good to hang out with you again. Max, I owe you so much. And I can tell you want to talk to me about something. I saw Victoria's letter. How does that make you feel? Max, I know Victoria can be a... Uh... Not nice. But I do believe in forgiveness and redemption. I might be naive, but I feel her struggle. Me too. I could have taken a picture of her covered in paint, but I didn't, and we had a genuine moment. We all have our moments. Why do you think she acts so mean? Maybe she's insecure. She's insecure. If you're comfortable with yourself, you don't need to act superior. Victoria doesn't look like she has much to be insecure about. If anybody could make Victoria see the light, it would be Kate Marsh. No. I think it will take more than that, Max. Eh, hey, Kate. I always want to talk to you. We missed our tea session this week. That was so not cool. We need to plan, like, a tea shop tour of Portland. Oh, yes. And... You could bring Warren along, too. <laughs> no boys allowed. No boys allowed. 
You are funny, Max. And right. Super funny. I want you to know I'm this close to getting all the info I need about Nathan. Nathan Prescott has to pay for what he did. And we have to stop him from hurting anybody else. Well, I did get his ass suspended, so that might be a start. You did? Oh, right on, Max. I love how fearless you are. So what is going on with him now? Uh, Prescott family. I think his family is totally protecting him. Or worse. I never say this about people, but Max, there's something evil about the Prescotts. They have something to do with death. We're going to stop him. I just have to find Nathan's room number, get inside, and get the clues I need. Max, please let me help. I can get the number, and I'll text it to you, okay? Of course, Kate. I can't do this without you. Now it's time for Nathan to watch out for us. I have to get back to our uh, mission. You don't know how much it means to see you again. I do. That's why I love you, Max. Thanks for taking care of my bunny. Tell Alice I'll see her soon. Didn't really feed us today, did you? Done here? I think we're done here. Thanks again for visiting me, Max. Well, how is she? She's still Kate Marsh. Thank God. I'm glad we came to see her. Thanks for coming with me. Now let's go pay a visit to Nathan Prescott. That little prick is not going to be glad when he sees us. Hey, Max. How you doing? Oh, hi, Mr. Jefferson. I'm okay. Um, and this is my friend, Chloe. Yo. Chloe? Why isn't somebody as cool as you going to Blackwell? I was way too cool for this school. It's a long story. In actual files here. I can imagine. Max, are you sure that you're all right? It's weird just being on campus like everything's normal. I know. Lame as it sounds, life has to go on. I think there's too much going on in my life. On that note, Blackwell duty calls. Remember, I'm going to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes contest tonight at the party. So I hope you'll be there to celebrate, even though I'm sorry you didn't enter a photo. I understand your reasons. You can't force an artist to work. I feel like <laughs> a total loser, but it's been a hard week to focus. No pun intended. I'm proud of you for caring so much about a troubled friend. And I take hope in the fact that you have plenty of time to find your way. Just get in the habit of putting your work out there. Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. I'll definitely be there tonight. Me too. I'll be Max's date. You better dance with us at least once. And nobody should have to see me dance. Plus, you don't want to watch the old hipster trying to keep up with the kids. I have some pride. Be seeing you. Yes, you will. Hot for teacher. Gross! You are out of control. Not yet. Just wait until the rager tonight. <sighs> Shut up. Don't be jealous because Mark Jefferson thinks I'm cool. I am so ignoring you. <laughs> Fine. Since I'm here, I'll see if I can get some dirt from Justin. I haven't talked to him in a while. Now that is a great plan. From Justin. Let's see if I can find out where Nathan is. Which one is the... Is this the male dormitory? I'm not even sure. Principal Wells was so loaded the other night here. Most well, okay. These are all your dormitories, fair enough. I thought it was just the girl dormitories. Poor Daniel. 
Looks like he needs a hug. Hey, Daniel. You look bummed out. Are you alright? Hola, Max. I just figured out that my photos basically suck. I'm a wannabe artist. I love your drawings. You're not here to be a photographer. That's my gig. Look at that sketch you did of me. Incredible. And that's your art. Your gift. Ah, I do feel better now. You are good, Max. Have you talked to anybody about what happened with Kate? I don't talk to anyone, Max. But I did actually have a nice talk with Brooke. She couldn't stop talking about how brave you were on that roof. I don't think doing the right thing is brave, but I appreciate what she means. The most important thing is that Kate gets better and gets justice. I hear that, Max. She's the sweetest, most genuine person I've ever met. I don't mind getting picked on by Blackwell bro holes, but don't fuck with Kate. I like this revolutionary Daniel DaCosta. Only if I can start the revolution from my sketchbook, Max. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott? Oh, I heard a rumor he's actually suspended. Yeah, but he's still gotta be on campus. That explains why he looked so pissed off when I saw him leaving campus a few moments ago. Well, all right, he's left campus. Are you going to the end of the world party tonight? It will be if I go, man. People here push me into lockers, not dance floors. Mm. I might be good That's lucky. exactly why you should go to that party. We have to stand up to these Blackwell bullies for Kate. You won't be alone, Daniel. Not with you to back me up, Max. Oh, damn it. I will go to the party like it is the end of the world. Okay, maybe I won't go, but... No, I won't do that, but... I'll go. Let's talk later. Okay, Daniel? Good. Nathan is not around. I should go back to Chloe. That's what I get for helping Alyssa. A broken window. I'm not done talking to people. It's been so long since I've seen you. Oh, great. Chloe stole money from the Handicap Access Fund. The late Uncle Fella notice. So I hear. Any word at all, Rachel? Dude, I wish. I'm working on it. I miss her laugh. When I fell off my board. <laughs> Alyssa, why you play hard yeah. to get when you're already hard to want? True that. Okay, I have to bounce. That's kind of mean. There's a penis down there. That's Brooke's drone. Where's Brooke? Oh, she's over there. I had to clear away another batch of dead birds today. Mrs. Grant looks interested in whatever Samuel's saying. Climate change isn't real nice. That's cool to see that Samuel's not alone for once. Hi, Miss Grant. Max, you always show up when I'm talking about you. I'm still bragging about you and the other students making Blackwell surveillance free. Recent events. I was hoping you could explain some of these crazy things happening in Arcadia Bay. If I could, I'd be collecting my Nobel Prize in science today. I haven't been able to wrap my mind around that eclipse, much less the snow in Wales. There might be a bing bong. There I must be a scientific explanation. Didn't redirect right? the windows. When my sound. friends at NASA tell me they can't explain a solar eclipse without a single theory as to how or why, maybe it's time to get worried. Like they are. I am worried about reality. I feel like it's changing right in front of us. You and Samuel both. We were talking about that before you came over. Our planet is changing, but it's not mystic. It's erosion. You think that's why all these animals are dying here? Well, our shoreline has been receding, not to mention the daily contamination of the ocean. That's all you need to kill off sea and wildlife here, unless you know something I don't. Time travel. What about wormholes and chaos theory? I like the time travel stuff. The only wormholes in Arcadia Bay are underground, and chaos theory is just that. But if this is about time travel, sign me up. Would you really change time? 
Not after reading that Bradbury story, A Sound of Thunder. I won't give it away, but it involves dinosaurs and butterflies. Time is like a thread, Max. One tug and it all can unravel. I was looking for Nathan Prescott and I thought he might be in your class. Mr. Prescott has no class at all after his suspension. I didn't think you were friends. You probably know him better. I've tried. Nathan is a Prescott and with that comes a lot of baggage. Too baggage. much for one teenager. This week was the proof. Principal Wells did the right thing. I know. Nathan needs real help. Yes, he does, Max. I did try once, but Mr. Prescott didn't appreciate my help. I did see Nathan leaving the campus looking angrier than usual, so maybe it's good you haven't found him. I don't think surveillance would have helped, Kate Marsh. Who needs surveillance when we have Maxine Caulfield? You did a wonderful thing. And now we have to make sure Kate gets the help she needs. Do you need to talk to a counselor? Blackwell Academy needs the help. There's something terrible going on here. You see it, right? This week hasn't been Blackwell's finest hour. But me and some faculty members won't rest until all the students here feel safe, not bullied. Kate was drugged at the Vortex Club party and bullied by them until she ended up on the roof. How do you stop that? Shut down that damn Vortex Club for a start. I don't mean to get riled up, but that party should have been postponed. It's extremely tasteless given what happened with Kate. Do the Prescotts have anything to do with the Vortex Club? I mean, they don't get all their money from car washes. No, they don't. But membership has its privileges. Especially when your father is Blackwell's biggest sponsor. This elitist nonsense has no place here. You're right. I, I just wish this could be the school that I dreamed about before I came here. I hear you, Max. I love seeing you and Warren and all my students at your best here. But you're all too young to be so cynical. But you truly give me hope. I'm sorry, Miss Grant. I have to get going. I'll see you later. It's always good talking to you, Max. As a scientist, and then I take one I'm step over and talk to As Samuel Grant, instead. I'm very How are you doing, Max? Been a tough week. I know. Yes, it has, Samuel. How are you? Sad and confused like everybody else in Arcadia Bay. You look like you have a lot of questions, too. More questions than answers. Samuel is always here to talk. I actually just talked to Kate Marsh in the hospital. She's doing so much better. Because of you, Max. That was quite a rescue. Samuel, you're the eyes of Blackwell. Did you know Kate was being bullied? Most everyone makes fun of me. But Samuel warned them about Kate. I hate bullies, Max. I believe you. Kate just needed some more helpful spirits like her friend Max. I, I hope she finds them now. Have you seen Nathan Prescott around? That would be hard since he was suspended. You don't sound sad, Samuel. Nathan hurts people. The end. What do you really know about him? Not enough to help you, Max. I truly wish I could. I see what you're doing. Do you ever talk with David Madsen? He talks to me. I listen. That's how David operates. He sees things, not people. But I, I think he sees you, Max. Why do you say that? Because you both see with cameras. I think you have better vision than both of us. <laughs> no, Max. I, I just look at everything from a different angle. 
I definitely have questions about what's happening to the animals in Arcadia Bay. Oh, many do. These poor creatures have no choice in what happens to them. How can anybody explain all those poor beached whales? My dad was a fisherman, and he'd take me out to hear the whales sing. Now they... they just cry. Do you think this is some kind of eco-disaster, or...? I think it's more than that. Somebody is causing all this to happen. You think so, Samuel? You and Arcadia Bay are connected by time and tide. So, next time I have a question, I'm coming to you. Well, I'm glad to see your squirrels are still healthy and happy on the campus. Me too. If something happened to them, oh... Not as long as you're here to take care of them, Samuel. The only thing that calms them is food. <laughs> Lots of food. Which reminds me th that I have to feed them now. Hmm. Arcadia Bay is scared too. Sorry to bother you again, Samuel. I don't think I finished. There's no bother here, Max. Still not the... I definitely have... Oh. Dead birds. What do you think about all those dying birds? Samuel had to bury dozens near the Tabanga. What happened to them? I would say the sky is too dirty for their wings, but... something worse is in the air. It's so ominous. Unless it's fate, then it doesn't matter. I still have a million questions about what's happening to Arcadia Bay. Th that must be why Miss Gant says you're one of her favorite students at Blackwell. Even though Miss Grant likes me, I have zero science skills to explain that eclipse. As I was just saying to her, that's because science has no explanation. No offense to Miss Grant here, but this is just the beginning. How do you know that? I'm genuinely curious. You just have to open your eyes. Then you can see what's coming. That's why I can sense something bigger is coming to Arcadia Bay. And Max, I don't like it at all. I keep thinking that Rachel Amber has a few answers, if we can find her. If Rachel wants to be found. Do you think she's alive? She'll always be alive in our hearts. Sometimes, that's all we have left. But... Max, all I can tell you is to stay on your path and you'll find what you're looking for. Rachel Amber is waiting too. I'd rather be in her class than the Vortex Club. Yes, you would. Rachel saw right through them. She's not the only one. Nobody should be trapped in the Vortex Club. Get out now, Max. While time is on your side. I'm sorry. I better get going now. Look at the weather. And the air. Oh, well. How would you like a partner for a quick photo op? We all need to look out for each other these days. I hope Max isn't pissed that Warren asked me to the drive-in. Why would you guys say that right next to me? I can't take a picture of this squirrel, apparently. No squirrels this time around. After this week, I definitely need a break from Blackwell. Brooke looks happy that she's going ape with Warren. Nice. Hey, Brooke. How are you? I'm here as usual. By the way, thanks for helping Kate down. Are you okay? I might feel better taking your drone for a quick flight. Miss Grant caved and let me fly her again. So take a spin. I have to see what time I'm going to the drive-in with Warren on Saturday. Sounds fun. That sounds fun. It would be good for you and Warren to 
take a road trip after this week. Warren got a new car, or an old new car. So I'm all about a serious road trip out of here after this week. Thanks. Nice to go over a spin every Back now and again, then. Brooke. Are you sure you're all right? I need to find Nathan. Have you seen him around? I was distracted by Warren asking me out to the drive-in. Nathan was suspended, but he should still be on campus. I did see him this morning heading off campus. He looked more angry than usual. I wouldn't look for him now if I were you. I, I can't get my limited brain around that eclipse and the beached whales. I was hoping the science department had some ideas. Warren and I are supposed to compare notes and theories this weekend. Just keep shrubbing it in. That makes sense. That makes sense. Two big brains are better than one. Or mine. We'd get the Nobel Prize if we could explain this phenomenon, but... Even Miss Grant has no clue. Leave. I have to go. Talk later, Brooke. We done here. Oh, does he want to talk? Yes. He oh. Enjoy the big game, Zachary. I hope it's not the last. I can tell that Justin is really into Chloe. Chloe fits in so easy with Justin. coast is clear. It would be so cool if you and me were going to school here together. But now you can have Mr. Jefferson all to yourself. Ah, oh, you suck. Now let's get into Blackwell ninja mode. Do do do. Do do do. It's so lame they don't have co-ed dorms here. Yes, because I want Nathan Prescott in the room next door. Good point. Wait here. Give me the signal if Nathan or anybody shows up. I won't let you down, Batmax. Now I just have to find Nathan's room. Batmax. Ew, the boys' dormitories. Who needs a dorm map anyway? At least I can see that Nathan isn't in room 106 or 108. I have no idea why I am either. BB Lounge, not my circus, not my monkeys. Uh, hello there, what is going on here? Oh, nothing. Something, something. Knowledge is good, said no one ever. Double Doom, Samuel Dexter. Blow me, pizza boxes. Huge penis. Mineral Wells is dumb right now. No homo. I don't know. At least a day and night. I don't know. Kate. Ooh, Nathan's room is one, one, one. Kate, you're awesome. Thank you. <clears throat> I love that you bring out the rebel in me. You're already a rebel. Trust me. Always and please be careful. Promise. Of course, I'll keep you posted. I know you will. Uh, I mean, yeah. I like that smiley. Oh, Kate brings it. So, room 111 is the magic number. Vortex Club success. Love, Evan. Evan. Of course. That's why no shits were given. <laughs> Evan rolls. Apparently, Logan missed this poster. Safety first. Look before you lust. Always use protection and secure your future. Oh, why, hello, Trevor. And Dana. 
because you care. I'm here with you, right? And then they stopped talking. One, one, one. Bigfoot got big balls. Zach or Logan? Who knows? Bro's got a bro. Oh, jerks. At least nobody messed with the Kate portrait. That's a cruel portrait. Cry, hipster, cry. Even after Kate, nobody here learned anything about bullying. Can I ask art? Are toilet paper wars mandatory in the dorms? And uh, dorm think tank. Welcome to Blacksmill. Sit and shit. Lubkowski males. Free glory hole. Every photographer should have one blurry Bigfoot shot. Jock Slate. Aiden Slate. Ugh, skunk weed and video games. I sense Hayden is near. Nathan's room. The Prescott's rule this town. Hello, Warren's room. Hawking and him make a good team. Good night. Max, hurry up and find Nathan's room. Poor Warren. This is the work of Nathan. He's so lucky I'm a pacifist. Looks like one of the jocks did care about Kate. Sorry, Kate. Oh, you Bigfoots. All right, Nathan. This can only be Nathan's room. Whoops. Now I need to find Nathan's phone. Or anything with clues. Joyce? Max, now that David's not here, I need Chloe to step up and stop acting out so much. But what, that won't happen if you and her are getting mixed up in illegal crap like breaking into Blackbird at night. I know it happens, so don't bother to defend or explain. I hope you would get her back on the right track, but it looks like she's getting stuck again. Could be such a good influencer on her, unless you both want to play bad. But she can't blame, keep blaming brother. She can't keep blaming David now. I'm sorry, Joyce. Even I got into shenanigans. But I'm trying to be a good influence on Chloe. I know, Max. I forget you're still a teenage adult. That's so cute and ironic. I can't believe Nathan still has it around. The best son in the world. This diploma certifies that Nathan Prescott is officially the best son in the world. 2006. I was, I was like, what was that? Seven years ago. In in. That in monochrome game time. camera is brand new and cost about six grand. <laughs> Bastard. Miguel. I thought Victoria had the photo bling, but once again, the Prescotts rule. Prescription pills. I don't think this prescription has helped Nathan. That's a champagne bottle right next to it. I'd cry too if I had him for a father and had to wear that suit. Why would you have this picture on your table? Holy shit. That's the gun Nathan used on Chloe. A gift from... Nathan likes his tortured subjects way too much. These films all have a dark pattern. Oh man, that dickhead stole one of my selfies. Yeah, but take it back, he'll know who was in here. Damn, Nathan. That's a nice shot. If only all your energy went into photography. It's so damn creepy, but... The guy has his own style. I don't think one book can guide the Prescotts. 
Rajon, Teen Parent Guide to Anger Management, Dr. Bill. Dr. Bill has all the books out. That looks like a totally fun show. Even Nathan has a light side. Cool makeup. Yes, I would be cool with having this high-tech projector. That must be the lamp Chloe broke when Nathan drugged her. She still has it. That is so Chloe. Hey asshole, we need to talk. I'm going to tell everybody what he did and you're going to pay, motherfucker. Oh my god. Chloe. What the fuck? Oh, Chloe. That's not good. I really hope they were all consenting models. Computer time. Nathan is way into this party. Bad sign. Nathan Prescott to Victoria Chase. Hey gorgeous, let me know what you're wearing this vortex to the vortex this week so I can wear something just as styling and expensive. I'm psyched about going and I'm picking up some serious party favors. Even told my dad to keep the pics away from Blackbirds and get wrecked without hassle. If you're going to have an end of the world theme, then let's do it fucking right. Fucking on point, right? Oh, bastard. Now I remember why I hate you. And why Kate will get justice. It's the Kate video. Oh, man. Sean Prescott might be Nathan's real problem. Don't worry, says Sean Prescott to Nathan Prescott. Nate, I know this has been a stressful week and your mother and I are here to talk if need be. Just make an appointment anytime. Your mother wants Dr. Bill to come out after this book tour, but for now let's stick to your prescriptions. Need you calm and quiet while Pan Estate is being developed. I know being a Prescott is a burden, I'll guide you into this, into this room step by step, as did my father. It's hard for me when my dad opened my eyes to our destiny, but he'll thank me someday. Don't worry about Blackwell, this shithole town is going to get an enema along with a fresh brand. Wants to be ready to take over when the moment is right. Don't fuck it up, son. Your father. Too bad Nathan isn't more like his sister. She sounds awesome. Don't and worry. Far away. Says Christine to Nathan. Tudo bem from Brasil, Brazil, little brother. It's been too long since I've heard from you, so let, please let me know what's going on in your exciting school estic life at Blackwell. I brag to all my co-workers in the Peace Corps that my talent at Broad Nate got a full scholarship to one of the best art schools in the world. If I can't always check my phone, mail a phone, please, 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 please send me some new photos of campus so I can like, live vicariously through your lens. I miss you and your pictures. And yes, mother told me you've been in trouble and father's been on your ass. Yes. But I have to either ignore him or stand up to him. You know I love dad. Nate, but I'm also in a jungle halfway across the world because of him. He's a bully who inherited power, inherited power, not wisdom, and the only way to win against one is to fight back. Don't let him change you into one just for the family legacy. End of lecture. You're at school, so I just want to make you feel at home. Back to the mangrove, sending out good thoughts. Better write back or have a jaguar shipped to your dorm, XOXO, Chris. Yes, Nathan sure needs diet pills. This is strong stuff. Wow. Kiss ass much, Principal Wells. About the recent events from Principal Wells. Nathan, I'd like to apologize for the recent accusation. Your name and record speaks for yourself. Sometimes students will use that to make their own name at Blackwell. I know your father was upset while I have him sure that you would never bring a weapon to school. I don't want you to distract, distract from school. I'm certain this matter will be settled by the end of the week. If you had a quest have any questions, you, you know I'm always available to talk. Not a lot of evidence magazine Nathan Prescott all American teen butts and boobs full story Oregon's best boobs crystal brand new shoot what have I he missed he has everything in here except peace of mind scratch marks what the hell are all those marks on the floor? Something behind the couch. Move it. Let's find out what you're hiding. Oh yes, little phone. You are mine now. Now I have Nathan's phone, so I can show it to Chloe. Well, before Nathan comes back.
Lidt saliva. Damn, Max, you're finally back. I got worried. So, what did you find? His room was clean and creepy. Check this out. Boom, Nathan. We got you by the balls, fucker. What are you doing in my dorm? You're such a nosy bitch, Max. Stop right there, Nathan. Make me, ho. <clears throat> Max, I got this. Get the fuck out of my face. <clears throat> <laughs> That hurts. You are so fucking dead! Uh, uh, Get off me, bro! Uh, 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 do we stay out of it or stop worrying? That's actually a good question. I can't remember what I did last time. Um, I'm afraid you might shoot that gun, though. I stayed out of it. You He's getting his revenge. Huh? Like Max? Like Kate? Like me? Huh? Feel this motherfucker? Get off me! Please. Lori's loving this. Who's the bitch now? Chloe! Take Max. Hurry up and find Nathan's room. That's a bug. Then Warren went full elf on Nathan. That was good, but scary. Shit, man. This really hurts. No rewinding there. Damn. That was intense. Warren. Uh, Th thank you so much. For what? For beating the shit out of Nathan Prescott? Dude, you rule. I don't know. I kind of went crazy there. Like Nathan. You're not anything like him. Good to know. So where are you going? I better stick with you guys. Just in case you need me to get my Hulk on again. Or should I call the cops on Nathan? No police. Not yet. Uh, so maybe you better... Um, Warren, me and Max have to do this on our own. No offense. It's cool. Whatever I can do to help. What you can do is find out anything you can about Nathan's father. I'm on it. Between the snow and eclipse, I'm assuming the apocalypse is around the corner. And thank you. Seriously. I'll call you later. You better. I'm feeling pretty alpha now. Yes, you are. Man, that guy is so fucking in love with you. I know. <laughs> he really did give a serious beat down to Nathan. It was a little scary to watch him do that. Now let's make a date with Frank. Will he even answer you? Frank always answers when he wants money. Like I said, Frank wants to see me right now. Let's not keep him waiting. I'm kind of um, interested in what just what the remastered edition did with the uh, general motion capture because I, I really love what they've done with this game. It, it's janky at times but it kind of adds to the charm and lips don't line up all the time but it's the style. It works. God, I hate seeing those poor whales like that. Me too. I just 
Think of their families in the ocean out there looking for them. Well, that asshole is gonna help us find Rachel. Or what? You'll actually shoot him? Chloe, do not count on my rewind. Seriously. Obviously, I'm not counting on you. That's why I have a gun. And I might even save you someday. About time. I only so used it once you. in this uh, episode. There's no way we could have guessed this is what would happen to us when we grew up. I'm looking forward to the day when we can just go on a road trip to Portland. Fuck yeah. You, me, and Rachel. Absolutely. So let's play this cool, okay? Just pay Frank his money, and then we can get that code for the book from him. That's all. Got it. No dicking around. Let's roll. A signpost. Do not feed any animals in this forest. Ah, oh, it's the same one as uh, on top the of the. Forests uh, seem quiet. No sign of life. Which is up there? Oh, oh shit! Just look at this. How freaking pretty is this? Proper shadows and everything. Just painted on clouds. I'm gonna take a picture of this. F12. I'm looking. Get a proper angle. Of I that. don't want to go that way. Oh, I can't. I don't want to go that way. Like that, maybe. That's a dead car. There might not be any Pan Estates by Saturday. Stop Pan Estates. Thanks to local industry, the shores of Arcadia Bay are now unfit for fish, birds, and even whales. It's time to stop Pan Estates. Development that is leading to destruction of jobs, lives, and resources. Join the peaceful protest at the Pan Estate HQ. Media and families welcome. Noon Saturday, October 12th. This is where my nightmare started. Hiking trail to the lighthouse. Oh, that's a pretty prick as well. Like a proper rest stop like this and signs and everything just reminds me of the start of Silent Hill 2. Do not feed the animals. Can you drink tap water? Maybe. Hello, whale. Those beached whales look so awful, but still so majestic i bet they were like hello ground no worries sign help keep the beach clean use the trash can flip 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 it blows my mind that I was just here with Chloe in an alternate reality. No swimming. Due to recent coastal events, the Arcadia Bay City Council has closed the beach to any wading, surfing, or swimming. Wading. This is for the safety of both the marine life and the public. Violators would be subjected to a fine and or imprisonment. Good thing there are no actual cops around to bust us. Bottles of beer on the beach. Behold. Frank's beer garden. That's funny because I was I was just in a beer garden. Take the trash out sometime, dude. Look. This is where Frank ponders his existence and gets drunk. Look. Oh, fresh meat. So Pompadou must be okay. Good doggy. Umbadoo. Chloe looks ready to rumble. Let's oh, get ready look. to rumble. The Wonder Twins. 
You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, or bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Oh, I thank you. That wasn't so hard, now was it? And let's not do any more business again. Now, if you excuse me. Frank? Could we ask you a couple quick questions? You have some serious lady balls. No. Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? How did you get the keys? They're up on the top of the building. Uh, I'm sorry. Listen, Frank. I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. What, you, you come in peace? After you aimed a fucking gun at me, and then pulled the trigger! I was helping Chloe after you threatened to cut her, remember? You know, you're lucky all I brought was a knife. Otherwise, you and your girlfriend wouldn't even be bothering me. You really think you're tough shit, girly. I just... I didn't know what I was doing. Dude, get off her ass! She was protecting me! You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? Um... Do I... Do I reveal too much if I say the dog's name? Oh, Pompadour is so cute. The only way you know my dog's name is if you broke into my RV. That's okay. how we got out. You did it. Are you crazy? That's my dog. Wait, that's not what... Seriously, Frank, don't get all spun out. We're only here to find Rachel. Rachel isn't in here, and I'll spin you on your ass. What the fuck are you dorks up to, huh? Trying to break into my business? This time, the price is wrong, skank! Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Set the fuck back now! <laughs> Pompidou! You fucking killed my dog! Oh my god! This all went very wrong. Can't rewind time yet. Oh no! Chloe. I just shot a man and his dog. I killed Frank Bowers. Come on, let me you rewind. Saved my life, Chloe. It, it, it was self-defense for both of us. Max? Frank is really dead. I know, but we can't stop now. We have to find that code. Fast. Before the co cops come. Apparently I'm not allowed to rewind here.
That's it. Let's get out of here. Sorry, friend. I'm sorry. Please, thank you. Why did it let me live through all that if I could rewind? There we go. Listen, Chloe. I can tell you for a fact that this will not go well. Max, I should have known you'd be kind and rewind. So tell me exactly what I need to do here. Mm. It's kind of my mouth, though. Just be careful. Be careful, okay? Don't give Frank any excuses to go ballistic. We need his help, Chloe. You know, I'm not a total fuck-up. Occasionally I can be both cool and careful. Like now, okay? Frank, uh, your dog is kind of scary. Could you please close the RV door? You aim your gun at me, but you're scared of my dog? That figures. Sorry. Okay, there, you're safe. Now, what do you want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Oh. Uh. Listen. Yeah, yeah, everything. There's no... Yeah, yeah, well, it always... Come on. Yeah, right, okay. Frank. What, you... you... Uh... I was helping Chloe after you threw. You know, you're lucky. I just... Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. We're only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I love dogs. Period. I wish I had one trained as well as yours. Yeah, he had a bad trainer before. Real bad. But he's dead now. And I trained Pompadou how to be my friend. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes. We're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now. Especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? <laughs> well, we would only know these two things if we've been in the RV, and that's... not really something we should tell him, is it? You have Rachel's bracelet. You obviously know more than you're telling. So tell us. Never come into my home and tell me what to do. Understand? Man, there is something about you that is so wrong. I don't trust you at all. Now get out of my face. We don't have much time, Frank. Rachel needs you. It's too late. She's gone. You don't even know her. Like you did? I loved her, asshole. And she loved me. I know that. Chloe, you don't know shit. You were part of her problem. Always trying to take her away from me. Always! Calm down, Frank. Let's just don't talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch? Get it? Step the fuck back now! Oh my god! Gosh! Yeah, you actually shot me! I wasn't gonna hurt you! Oh, this fucking hurts! 
Oh, it hurts. Chloe, you shot him. I know. You're both fucking crazy. What do you want? We, we just want the code for your account book. Now. You're fine, whatever. Just, just put the goddamn gun down. You already shot me, all right? There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just, just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance or? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Could that have gone better? Should I retry? This could have gone way worse, but Frank might be more dangerous to Chloe now. Yes, Max, you can change all this if you want. I don't know if I can make it better. I can't hurry it up. It's as fast as he goes, Captain. Listen, Chloe. You won't like this, but you need to get rid of that gun. No, Max, I don't like that at all. But I trust you. And girl, if I need that gun, you better rewind fast. Frank. You aim your... Okay, there. Just then... Oh, yeah. There's... Yeah, yeah. Come on. Yeah, right. Frank. What, you... I was... You know... I... Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? Okay. We're, We're only... Shit. I love... Yeah, he... That's... Maybe we... Rachel? Yes. You and Chloe... Uh... This is a tough one. So bracelet is not good. What are you hiding? It's kind of accusation. Uh, what are you hiding, Frank? You should want to help us, not scare us away. Don't you accuse me of anything. You don't know me or who I am or what I can do. You understand? Huh? Man, there is something about you that is so... We don't have... It's too late. She's gone. Calm down, Frank. Let's just talk. Don't you ever tell me what to do. Get it, bitch! Get it! How do you like my blade, kid? Huh? Whoa! Chloe! Get off of me! Motherfucker! You're both fucking crazy! What do you want? How did that happen? We just want the code for your account book. There. Now leave me alone, all right? Just... Just get out of my life. Do you want us to call an ambulance or? No, thanks. You know what? I'll manage somehow without the police. Oh, right. Let's bounce. Good or bad? I don't know. Take this baby out of my leg. Be gentle, Frank. I'm gonna give it. I want the best ending, I think.
Can you do something? Oh, carpet snake. Speak. Listen, Chloe. You won't. No. For you ain't. Okay, there. Just the. Oh. What? Yeah. Come on. F yeah, right, okay. Frank. What you. I was helping Chloe after you threatened to cut her. You know, you're lucky all I brought was a knife. Otherwise, you and your girlfriend wouldn't even be bothering me. You really think you're tough shit, girly. I just. I didn't know what. Dude, get off her ass. She was protecting me. You've got a knife and God knows what else. Are you really afraid of Max here? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try and. We're only. Shh. I. Yeah. That's. Maybe we can. Rachel? Yes. You and Chloe. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it anytime and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. We can change all that. It's up to you. Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Well, if there's a chance in hell you two dorks can find Rachel, yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Nice. We did it. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Gonna grab that pistol again? Yep. Yippity yep. Yippity yep. I think that's the best outcome we can get. Chloe's already all the way over there. Left mouse button to leave the beach. Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. Amen to that. Better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Chloe's on a roll to find. Hi, Max. She just wants to see how the search was going. Thanks, Frank. We're getting closer. I see why Chloe digs you. Stop by later if you want to party. And good luck. Well, Frank is now a BFF, apparently. Oh, so many pages. Find more clues about Rachel now that we're so close. Hey, Max, see if you can put together all those Rubik's clues. Just holla if you need any info while I go online to make sure we haven't missed anything. Sorry, we got Frank on our side without using you. Put some music on. Amanda Palmer, yes, please. All right, Frank's clues. Gather info on the characters by selecting all the correct clues. For each section, there's a specific number of clues to select. Uh, Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Hmm, Frank's account book. 
the client names are encrypted. Frank is for sure the local dealer, but I, I doubt Rachel was carrying drugs for him. Right? Right. Maybe Rachel took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So, what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but I don't think he would hurt her. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. Chihuahua's Katie. Bob Taylor's best fancy car. That's a, another code name. Nacho Joseph Mix Stella. Stella? Is that D Stella? What was Nathan? Justin. Well, we know that guy. Bulldog is Chloe. <laughs> Don't know any of the others. Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. Oh, I didn't finish anything over there. Okay. Frank's clues. Let's see if I can find any deal Frank made with Nathan or the Vort. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. I don't remember the date when she disappeared. What, Wyler? Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. Boondocks. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. <laughs> that explains a lot. No Rottweiler? I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Ray dog, so that's a random dude I expect. Oh, gal. I wonder what dog name Frank would have given me. <laughs> I got some acid. Cheap acid, apparently. Molly and half a pound of weed. If Frank applied this kind of detail to his life, who am I to talk? Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. Was it this one? This is like goddamn math. I suck. So that's not right? I'll take a step back. If Nathan did drug Kate, he must have gotten the drugs from Frank. That's not it. Okay. Um, do we have a date? Let's check the other things. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. David should have done way more than take photos of Kate. I hope in this case that David has good tracking skills. When was the party? <laughs> I need to figure that out. <clears throat> Excuse me. Shouldn't be other that, sorry. Came out of nowhere. Could this be it? Fifth? David really has been on Rachel's ass for a while. She should have been upset.
How do these line up? And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. I have to analyze Nathan's messages. What could help me unlock this phone? <sighs> There's a lot of numbers in here. Um, what do we think? Be. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Okay, Did you do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Where are my pens? Where are my paper? I don't. Uh, nope, they're gone. So before. All right. Do I have a notes application on my phone? Keep notes. Uh, do we want to use Google for that? Can I just have a standard notes? There it is. Apparently, I've been. I've used it once before. I can see that. October fourth, cake party. So I can use that. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. Holy shit! Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. Nine five three five, maybe. Oh, so busted! It's good to see the Prescotts can't cover up all their tracks. Yeah, I haven't. I've looked. I've, I've read that earlier. So. Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. Repaid. Oh, there has got to be some good shit in his phone. I just need the code to unlock it. And SIM code, select phone. No, not enough. Maybe this. Nope, not enough. Okay, Max, let's blow this code up and go home. Store everything out over there, Nathan. Get ready to fucking die, beaches. You fuck up my door room, I kill your scholarship. Could I rewind it? No, I don't think I could have. Let's start hacking. Let's start with this. Unlock. One. I suppose that's one way to do it. Oops. Bad code. Okay, what was that? The other one? Nine five three five. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Zero two five eight. You locked it, dumbass. And what's that? Five. Seriously, I've tried these four, four, three, six. Oops, bad code. Five, four, three, one. Four, three, one. Yeah, I knew it wouldn't be that easy. Last one. Three, nine, eight, eight. Oh, shit. You locked it, dumbass. Okay, so none of those codes are the real ones.
be a lot of these, like, like five one. Mm, August eight, zero eight, twenty nine, maybe. Zero eight, right? That is the right. 29 the right way. Yeah, month and day before first in uh, in English. Go away, Sif Silas, I can press play. Oh, I did. What up, Neat the G? Okay, cool. Bitch, you sold me water. Asshole, calm down, bring it to me. Bring it. Stay away, pigs on the beach. Yes. <sighs> This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. That's the fourth. We home got to party tonight on the way, load the bowl. So, Rachel disappearance, was that the 30th? Maybe not. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. Maybe this could be Chloe. I need to go ASAP. I don't make house calls. You have a car. No time. Charge me double. Damn right. Have cash on you. No fucking around. Give me the address. I'll call you. Give the exact directions. In transit. Get that money out. I'll be right back. Drug Good. killer drama. You up, bro? No shit, what do you need? Peruvian flakes, skido acid. You're paying night prices. Don't make me wait. Sorry for being a dick. Need more stuff, you home? Yes, don't come. Fuck off. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Hey, you need weed, etc. Now, calm yourself, you're tweaking. Soon, hug a brother up, please. Meet Beach, be cool this time. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Keep your smart mouth shut about everything. I'm coming for your ass. I know where you sleep. No, Nathan. It's time for you to watch out. Asshole. Boop. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Please do not contact me at work. I told you this before and being high is not an excuse anymore. This is a business, not just a hobby. Want me to treat you like an adult who can get things done on his own? Impress me. I like nothing more than to be proud of you. I'm not there yet. Well, she she printed it somehow. That's pretty cool. How? <laughs> I don't know. All right, Frank's clues. Investigate Davis' clues first. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Okay. Isn't this interesting? Is this Nathan's car? Twilight Zone. No, that that that's probably Warren's car. Hmm. Who does this car belong to? Six foot under. Wow, sir, this looks like an expensive machine. That's definitely Chloe's car. Twin Peaks. That's. Uh... Of course, Nathan drives an SUV. Overcompensating. As usual. Is it a SUV if it's with a... Uh, the fuck's it called? A... Uh, open trunk. <laughs> Picture. There's Nathan dealing to the kids right out in the open. I'm glad Warren got his revenge. Right. Okay. So these two... 
match. But coordinates, how do we... Okay, let's find out whose car this is. Six foot under. Yeah, that's Nathan's. Why the hell are you following these people? Yep, another car David was tracking. This one. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Um, and we only got Frank's clues left. So we got a 4th of October party we need to investigate. That's this one. I don't get how they actually line up. And... These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Oh, shit. Investigate. Take a breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Let's see. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Oh, I am. No, wait. Oh. Ten first. Okay, it's not ten. So it's Somebody fourth. is stocking up on gas. Why? The fourth. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there, too. We've already been there. Not much out there. Uh, but it lines up. Oh, that has to be the Prescott estate. <laughs> Poor rich Nathan. Fifth. So, uh, fuck. So, this infamous party was the fourth. We're looking for Kate only. So that's the... No. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. There's some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. Should we call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir.
Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. Then we need to get in that barn. There's squirrels Watson, everywhere. We can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Why are you Sherlock? Warren? I didn't realize that beating the shit out of somebody would bruise my fists. Of course I bruised his face worse. He had that coming. That whole fight was so insane. Yes, it so was. How are you doing? Ammed up. I wouldn't want to do it again, unless I had to. Paid your hero dues. I would just need costumes. Speaking of, I hope you're coming to the party tonight so we can celebrate. I'll let you know, promise. Cool, now I have to get back to my striking super poses. Hello, bird. Photo. Oh, no. It's a pretty bird. Metal sheet. Move. I found the front door. Come on. Oh, yes. Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, uh, look closer. Harry Aaron Prescott and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescotts bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. I'm always parking Chloe somewhere. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Back to... This tractor has paid its dues. Trauda. Old. I guess the Prescotts were just born bastards. 1903, July 22nd. Martin, Martin Lewis Prescott, Prescott Ranch, Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Dearest Mr. Linden, I'm writing in regards to your outstanding debts that you've chosen to ignore. The Prescotts may not be established business gentlemen, but we are businessmen and expect our due. We take your silence as a personal assault and thus dedicate our family name to making you pay your debt with 10% interest, plus a written apology. If these conditions are not met by the end of... If the day... Typo. July 24, in the year of the Lord 1903, rest assured we will make your life a living hell. Kindest, my little pony. Old. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. There's no way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. No more secrets, Sean Prescott. It's cool. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. Huh. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Ah, the good old days. Pollock's Market, Arcadia Bay X, 14 cents, bacon 70 cents, sugar 50 cent, coffee one pound, oh, dollar. Cocaine, two dollars, tobacco, 175. 
No, sewer sewage pipe. And milk. Scope out the perimeter, Max. There has to be more. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. Huh? Where there? <sighs> Nothing here. Just looking random places. Round. Supermax, you can't open this with your bare hands. That's on there. Uh, platform. <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. I see you can't tell her anything? Nope. Chloe, can you give me a hand? Sidekick at your service. Up, up and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. Gold motor. Full. Oh. Po being loud. Anything fun up here? No? Oh, that's a little barn owl. That's not a barn owl, that's a bit of a hooter. Oh. That now it looks different. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Here's the other end of the rope. Something heavier. Good evening, Doctor Who. Sorry. Do I need to go down then? Doesn't look like there's anything up here at least. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. Oh, Chloe's back. Looking at stuff. I can't use There's this no thing. way this rusty ass button will activate these ropes or pulleys. I have to get through this monster padlock first. What am I missing? I'm missing something. Can't grab the pitchfork. Is there something outside, maybe? Bias. Damn, those pliers are fossilized. I need something strong to smash this padlock. Nothing out here? Saw blade? <laughs> Very rusted saw blade. Electric unit. Now, why would somebody run all that electricity into an old empty barn? Okay, so I'm missing something on the inside. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Right, that's dead. Pretty sure this old pitchfork won't open a padlock. Try again, Max. No, that's not what I wanted. I didn't skip that part. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. That's not what I wanted to do. Missing. Here's the other end of the rope. I'll climb up on these and get it over there. Are you strong enough, Owl? Is that why you're hooting at me? Use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Oh, I thought it would be something about a motor, but yeah. How far back is that? I wonder. Max to the rescue. I hope. Yeah, there we go. Okay, fair enough. I, um, my dum dum. Pull it. One try. Skyver strikes again. That's a superhero landing. That log's gone. I wish Warren could have seen that physics trick. Damn, this is heavy. This is creepy. What is this? Do I even need to say how weird this is? He just did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This bunker is so surreal. Not code, yeah. This is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. Got one of the codes on the thing, I suppose. First a padlock, then a digi code. Someone really doesn't want visitors. Uh.
I can see which buttons have been used a lot. I think there was a free numbered thing on uh, Nathan's thing. You can do it, Max. There we go. Oh, yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. Open sesame. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Now what? More survivalist supplies. Look at these cans. David must shop at the same store. Water supplies. It's like in David's garage bunker. That lasts for like a week. Letter. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. He needs help. Dear Mr. Prescott, as Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel that I should stop seeing your son as you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestion, suggestions for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he's becoming even more dis disconnected from reality, even if he acts in an impersonable manner. You have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan, and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available. Best Dr. Jacoby. Jacoby? Tuck tape Jacoby. in a bunker is always a bad sign. The door's closed. And we enter the horror house. I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. What's with the Prescott's and creepy art? Peppers. Oh, that son of a bitch. Uh, what am I looking at? 1.3 million. Stormbreaker bunker. Talk about tortured. Oh yeah, school suspension is a deal breaker in the Prescott family. Dear Nathan, President Wells has informed me that you have been suspended due to some suspect work checks club activity on your part. Never mind that, I just want you to know what kind of shame you once again brought on this family. I've given you everything you wanted, including Blackwell Academy, among other things we shall not mention, but nothing's ever enough for you. You're still my son and want us to fulfill our destiny. That day is coming sooner than you think, so be prepared to step into that responsibility. This is my final warning. Senior press card. There they are. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay, a binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. Kate wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe, maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then, then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Oh my god, Rachel, Kate, this picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. 
Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? Is that a uh, the girl with dragon tattoo reference? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. Is that Nathan? I can't. Kate looks so doped up. She has no idea she's being posed. At least Kate was asleep through all this bullshit. Note. Whoa. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Nathan, I've told you to never call me using your phone. Stick with the disposal ones I gave you. Don't want you to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stubbly, stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom so just so we can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you. Or you're on your own. Let's see what's in here. Yeah, that's... Oh my god. No. Neon Vault. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Somebody likes their whiskey. It's a messed up poster. That's an original signed illustration. Fits perfect in here. Needles and drugs. Needles. Gross. This must be the crap that Nathan gets from Frank. iPod. So who's using this fancy tripod? Down here? She even closed the door after her. Let's go to the junkyard.
I hope Nathan enjoys his last party. Chloe, we can go right to the cops. We have proof. Fuck the police. Rachel wanted us to find her. So we could get real justice. And revenge. The Prescotts have had this coming for a hundred years, and nobody is gonna get in my way. Especially with your help. Right? I'm with you to the end, Chloe. You know that. Line. I can't tell if they're different. What is there that? Can't be too much. Jesus, Chloe, look up at the sky. Possible. Beautiful. I don't give a shit. The world is ending. Cool. You're not listening. Something major is going down. That's right. Nathan Prescott is going down. Welcome to the end of the world, ladies. I'm glad you decided to escort me. You look really good, Warren. Are you all right after today? I really flipped out on Nathan. I just hate bullies. And Max, he's dangerous. Where is he? I didn't see him at the dorm again. I was held up in my room. Dude, have you been drinking? Well, if you consider half a beer drinking. Let's go, Max. Hey, hey. I know this is a bad time, but can I get one picture? I've been feeling like this might be actually the end of the world, so I want to have something for prosperity. Well, I don't blame you, Warren. I know, I know. I'm pain in the booty. Just one picture. Uh. Action. We've got no time for this shit. Come on, Max. Sorry. I just wanted to feel like a normal student after this week's ultra-violence. I never hit anybody like that before. I was always the one getting my ass kicked. Hey, we still need your expert help. If you see Nathan, text me immediately, okay? And do not let him see you. He won't. I know how to be invisible here. Not to me, Warren. Text soon. <sighs> Max is a good friend. Hi, can I take your coat or anything? No, I didn't see any tablet with cat pics. Okay, Chloe, where the hell are you? Ugh, plus some of the Vortex Club always give me attitude. So that's what they're here for. Stella? Hello, Stella. Uh, hi, Stella. Hey, Max. Welcome to the end of the world. Do you want me to check anything in? Uh, no thanks, Stella. Have you seen Nathan yet? No, thank God. That boy creeps me out. Wait, some girl just asked about Nathan before you came in. Nathan's creep? Why does Nathan creep you out? He should. I, I just want your reasons. He's a bully for one thing, and he hit Warren for another. But have you ever looked at his eyes? Glazed and raging. Me no like. So why are you working at a Vortex Club party? I didn't think you wanted to be a member. Screw that. I'm here for the job. Hello, Synth. Hello. If I pronounce that right, I can never remember. I'll call you Agent Scully. Who hired you? Who hired you? Mr. Jefferson asked me because he knows I don't have a lot of money, even with my job and scholarship. I'm not cool enough for this school. Yes, you are, Stella. You're smart, honest, and you bust your ass for Blackwell. I hope everything turns out your way in the end. Well, thank you, Max. I really appreciate that. Hey, your face looks so intense. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm actually not okay. I. I just need to find Nathan. 
And don't get too close if you see him. Hell no. This is homework, not a party. I'll text you if I spy him. Good luck. Thank you. That's a cool shark. Shark is a lifeguard. Satan Scully. I'm just trying to tr find a murderer. Trap and find him. We need to find Nathan and take him down. I don't know any of these people. Hey, that's Blake. Blake. Brooke. It's Brooke. And Daniel. I'm glad I talked Daniel into coming. Just to see him flirt with Brooke. Yeah, but Hi, so Daniel. am I. Yes! Max makes an entrance! <laughs> I only came to the party because of you. I'm glad to see you out and about. By the way, have you seen Nathan Prescott tonight? No, I've been hanging with Brooke since I got here. Max, are you okay? Your face looks so serious. Uh, I know. I'm, I'm not in party mode tonight. You look like you're on a secret mission. This is where it's going to end. For Rachel's sake. Well, if you want to hang out with Brooke and me, we're here for you. Thanks, Daniel. I have to stay on my mission now. I hope you stay on yours and become a great artist. Well, I'll be celebrating someday in a museum, Max. Adios. I got the My Lady t-shirt on. Are Daniel and Brooke flirting? Right on. Hello, Brooke. Max, I didn't expect to see you at a Vortex Club party. I didn't expect that either, but I really need to find Nathan. Have you? No, I haven't seen him. And I'm not looking for him, so I most likely won't tonight. I just hate that scrub and his club. Not the only one. You're not the only one. Maybe this party will be the end of the Vortex Club. Then I don't have to pretend like I care anymore. Have you seen Warren tonight? No, but we're going to map out our drive-in date later. I was just talking to Daniel about a road trip next week to the Portland Art Museum. Oh, that is so cool. He needs a friend. I bet Daniel will be a great museum guide. I'm more into science than art, but what kind of a selfish fangirl would miss a Miyazaki exhibition? You're not selfish, Brooke. You're just trying to live your life without all this bullshit. Like all of us here. You seem so wise and kind of invincible this week. I think that snow and eclipse gave you superpowers. Check to see if you can fly. Uh... Only with your drone. By the way, did you see that crazy double moon out there earlier? Max, if I saw a double moon out there, I would assume it really was the end of the world. Well, the night is still young, Brooke. And so are we, Max. So let's plan a drone date next week. Hmm. No one seems to know where Nathan is. Is he hiding or something? I pay money to see okay. more kicking Nathan's ass. I had a cookie. Energy drinks, soda, energy drinks. I know somebody has the booze. Is he Courtney? There's Courtney drinking alone. Without Taylor or Victoria. I wonder why. You alright, Courtney? Hello, Luke. School days. Luke, I almost didn't see you. Max, you're the only person I don't mind seeing right now. I was looking for Nathan. I've avoided almost everybody here tonight. Uh, why are you looking for Nathan? Dangerous. I want to make sure he's not going to do, do anything tonight. Like what happened to Kate. Oh, wait, I did see Nathan today, nursing a busted face. I had <laughs> dreams that somebody finally kicked his ass. 
Well, Luke, sometimes dreams come true. Warren gave him an epic beatdown. Yes, give it up for Brother Warren. Now all we have to do is drive all these goddamn Prescott vampires out of town. I think Sean Prescott wants to drive all of us out of town. Or into Pan Estates. I met him once at a Bigfoot's game. Mean fucking bastard. Oh man, he explains Nathan. Preach it, Brother Lou. Okay, I have to get going. Um, thanks for seeing me. No, thank you. But for helping Kate. And for keeping it real. Peace out. I'm still trying to lay low here, Max. Bigfoot on otter action. And Arta is loving that. Oh, oh no! Alyssa, incoming! I'm on it. Whoa. Of course, my object angel has stepped up every single time to protect me from the cruel world. Thank you again, Mystic Max. Look at Alyssa shake that booty. I'm surprised to see you here. I'm surprised that Blackwell is having a party after Kate almost jumped off a roof. I guess people are happy that Kate is okay now and they can party again. I'm just happy she's drawing again. She seems much better and her mother is being so supportive for a change. Kate deserves that. I saw that the video got taken down, so I, I hope nobody posts it anywhere else. Is that naive? Look how fast people here forgot about Kate. They'll find some new Blackwell drama and forget about her video. So it goes. C'est la vie. Look at this. <laughs> I'm at my first and only Vortex Club party. I know. This week was so shitty that I just wanted to be around a bunch of people trying to have a good time. Even if I hate most of them. Victoria doesn't seem to hassle you like she does me. Or Kate. She must know I punch her in the face. I probably should just for Vortex Club posterity. I'm so glad I could warn you about all those sneak attacks. You kinda are a superhero. You always choose to help me. It reminds me of the only poem I can quote by a Robert Frost. Tell me now. I could use one moment of poetry right now. Okay, but this is like poet karaoke, so don't cringe. I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in a wood, and I, I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference. That was beautiful, Alyssa. It was exactly what I needed to hear. Thanks for not cringing, and thanks for watching my back. Blackwell would be so much cooler if we all did that for everybody else. But you're a great start, Max. Look at Alyssa shake that booty. Yes, I I'm back. You scared me for a sec. I was ready to duck. Didn't think you'd come back. <laughs> Alyssa, I have to find Nathan. Have you seen him? I really don't know, but surely in the VIP section, like it's a New York club. Thanks, Alyssa. Watch out for yourself. Why, when I have Max Caulfield at my side? Good luck. Super Max Not lives. That was annoying. Six nine reasons to bang Rachel. Okay, fair enough. Apparently, Blackwell has a severe toilet paper fetish. Yeah, that's cool. I'm not in the mood, but still, this could be an interesting shot.
Justin. Justin's just a little buzzed. Yo, maximum overdrive. About time you got here to save this lame rave. Wanna get ripped? Uh, you look pretty ripped already, Justin. And not happy. Why did you even come tonight? Where else could I go in Arcadia Bay on a Thursday night? Besides, Dana is here. Just not with me. So yes, this party sucks. Uh, Rachel. Rachel Amber won't be coming either. Damn, I was thinking about Rachel and Chloe tonight. If they showed up together right now, shit would end. Rachel could always shut Victoria down. Good for Rachel. I wish I could have seen that. Max, I know I'm twisted, but your face looks so fucking intense. And your voice sounds different. You okay? How about a quick dab? Uh, no, I'm, I'm cool, Justin. And I have to get going. I don't like that. Maybe you should go chill somewhere else. Fucking A, Maximus. You're right. I'm only torturing myself here. Plus, I'm too loaded. It's time to get my board and grind. Leaving. No, seriously, I'm out of here. Oh, and everything isn't so fuzzy. The tide is turning. This is my last Vortex Club party. I'd like to tear every one of these things down. Oh, that's a long line. Chloe must be around. Oh, and one of them is being used. Good night, sweet Chloe, prince. Can you please hurl and flush already? Somebody's either having sex or throwing up. Or both. Ugh, Max. Maybe you're not the only one who has to get sick. If you don't wrap it up, we're coming in, sister. Sister? There's a brow there. Oh, gross. How did this even get here? That is the longest whiz in town. Then she must have erased it later. Because your name is on the list, asshole. What would a shitty party be without glow sticks? Hey, glow sticks are cool. Trust me, dude. You're not missing anything. Yes, you do suck. Why isn't Courtney guarding the list for the VIP section? Excuse me, but I'm going in. Sorry, but this is the VIP section. Members only. Okay? Sorry, but I'm on the list. Okay? I know that Max Caulfield is not on any list for the Vortex Club. Nice try. Listen! No, you listen. Courtney is supposed to be the VIP gatekeeper, not me. So please go. I need to find a way to enter this bullshit club. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. I can jump in and just go under. Those are some very low frame rate people. Talk to Courtney. So I better see if she can get me into this. Hey, Courtney. How are you? Max, our guest star arrives fashionably late. <laughs> Say bonsoir to the end of the world. Even though you flaked on my party makeover, you still get special access to the Vortex Club VIP lounge. You better nice. let your minion know since she won't let me pass. Oh, that little asshole just made her last mistake. She thinks she's Victoria. <laughs> bye bye Now, let's go make an official VIP entrance, Max Factor. <laughs> Get it? Absolutely. Hey, Sarah. Um, do you know that I've personally put Max's name on the list? So, you like decide to block her from coming in while I'm taking a break? <laughs> you're not in charge here. Wait, I, I just... Uh, oh my god, you're done. And you're off the list permanently. Welcome to the Vortex Club. Hmm. She 
She's having a bad day. I'm so not impressed by this VIP crap. Nathan is the Vortex Club, so his ass has to be here tonight. Thank you so much for coming by, Max. It lifted my heart. Kate, I was so happy to see you smile again. You mean so much to me, and to so many others. I have to go, but tell Warren thanks. He's sweet. He brought by some school books I need to give him a hug from me. I'll certainly give him your thanks. Call me as soon as you can. She's gone. She's wasted, and nobody is looking out for her. Nobody learns at Blackwell. Is it me? Or is everybody here? A bomb. Give me a break. Wasted. Surprise, Hayden is trashed. He would dose his own drink first before anybody else's. What's up, Hayden? Oh, uh, look. Up in the sky, it's Super Max here to save the party. Have you seen Nathan? I just vaped some dank OG buds, so I can barely see you. Or these hotties next to me. You want a hit? No thanks. No thanks. Come on. I would kill to see you baked. Get that stick out of your ass. You need to get high more than anybody I know. Next to me. Not this week. <laughs> so, has anybody here seen Nathan? I guess you have to go ask everybody here. Or, you can sit down and take a quick hit. What about Victoria? Ah, go ask her yourself. I would, but like I said, I'm fucking wrecked. Maybe you better take it easy tonight. Whatever. I'm in this world to have fun. Try it sometime, Max. I finally get you and Dana to come out to a Vortex Club party, but you just want to lecture me? Gee, thanks, Mr. Madsen. How much fun did Kate have at your last party? It's so long. It's Listen, so long. Hayden. Just watch out for Nathan tonight. It's so I think that's your it's job, so Max. Come back when you're ready to have fun. Is that you, Max? You look all fuzzy. Wow. Oxygen that kit. oxygen kit might come in handy if somebody binges. Ah, man. Press wave. Fruit. Done. So the Vortex VIPs get real alcohol at their underage bar. Again. Chips and crackers. Spare no expense, Vortex Club. I, think my photo is very I know Victoria is next on Nathan's hit list. Should I warn her? No, Logan, you're not getting any action tonight. Or even a dance. I get Logan, can I talk to you for a second? Max, all right. I'll talk after you shake that booty for me. Oh, no. Have you seen Nathan? I can't even get Victoria or Taylor to twerk. And you want to hang with Nathan? Why? Business. You should talk to his dad then. Bro has got more money than God, and he spends it on the Vortex Club, not the losers over there in the cheap seats. Logan, this is a swimming pool. In other words, you haven't seen Nathan. Ask Victoria. She always knows where he is. Don't you ever want to see me, Max? You're so cute, and we never really talk. Talk about what? Talk about what? The next Bigfoots game. We could go out to the field. I could show you some moves. Give you a touchdown. Logan, don't make me hurt. Damn. That was way more exciting than advanced. Catch you later, Max. Could I? I'll give it a try. Here's the queen bee. Sorry, Max. Vortex Club members only. Sorry. I'm on the guest list. I'm taking you off. Go fuck yourself, you Victoria. I don't have time for this bullshit. Real cute, Max. And after I apologized to you the other day. Do 
you even have a clue what's going on at Blackwell? Kate Marsh tried to kill herself in front of you and me. Everybody here. That's not my fault, Max. Don't you even try to blame me. I blame Nathan for dosing Kate, but nobody at that party even cared she was so wasted. It's a fucking party! Everybody is wasted! What do you want from me? Some humanity, Victoria. Well, you got Nathan busted out of Blackwell, so you should be happy. And I'm the only person here who cares what Nathan is going through. This is bigger than a problem, child. I'm not perfect, okay? I'm a teenager at an art school. I'm only here to become a photographer and get famous. You have talent, Victoria. You don't have to push people out of your way. You don't understand. My parents own a gallery. I know how this art game has to be played. It's brutal. No, it's, it's art. You don't have to play their way. Mr. Jefferson doesn't talk that way, and, and he's famous. On point, Max. Thanks for admitting again that I have some talent. Not that I think I always do. I don't either, but that's the choice you make. Hard to believe, but I don't always make the best choices. Do you think it's like fake we're not supposed to be friends? Maybe, but who says we have to be enemies? Whoever makes that decision. That would be us, Victoria. Well, Max Caulfield, I could always choose to let you in the Vortex Club. I don't think that's gonna happen. But not for the reasons you think. Oh, you look so serious. Victoria, listen to me. Your life is in serious danger. I know Nathan is your friend, but he is truly unstable and dangerous. He did drug Kate at that party so he could take her someplace dark. What? Nice try, Max, but I don't believe you. And why would he do that? That I don't know yet, but it was enough to make Kate want to die. And I think you're next. Max, that is crazy. Nathan is like one of my best friends. Yes, he takes serious meds, but that's not his fault. His family treats him like a total freak just because he has little meltdowns. They're not little anymore. They're deadly. I, I don't care if you hate me or not, but you have to believe me. You could have been a major bitch to me when I got hit with that paint, and I deserved it. Max, I don't hate you. I actually think you're one of the coolest people at Blackwell. Weird, but cool. You just don't know it yet. Maybe I'm jealous because you don't give a shit what anybody thinks, and I do. To be honest, Nathan has been freaking me out lately. He's not here, and I haven't seen him. Just make sure you stay away from him and stick close to your friends tonight, okay? I let you boss me around this one time. And I have other people I can go to for protection. Thanks for telling me this, Max. If what you said is true, then you be careful too. I've got my own protection. Um, text me if you need anything. I will. Thanks, Victoria. Au revoir. Pretty cool she hasn't been drinking. Well, I know where Chloe is. Maybe there's hope yet for Victoria and me. I'm glad I warned her. You dance worse I hope she's dance. okay. Yes. Thanks, Max. But can you do I guess this? I'll be on my toes. <laughs> okay, now that's hot. I'm Bust glad Dana head. ended up with you. <gasps> that son of a bitch is not here. Hey, Max! I can't believe you showed up. Why didn't you tell me? We could have dressed up together. As you can hmm. tell by my outfit, I, I was in a hurry. Dana, have you seen Nathan around? Hell no, I've been dancing with Trevor. Come on and dance with us. <laughs> Look at Trevor trying to bust a move. You guys look really happy together. I think we are. <laughs> He's so different than Logan. We actually talk about life. And he knows how to be safe. I hear you, Dana. But I want you to avoid Nathan if you see him, okay? I will if I want to have fun. I still feel sorry for him. 
He needs help, but not from his family. What do you know about his dad, Sean Prescott? Uh, rich. And rich. And a dickhead, according to Nathan. The Prescotts can't buy a happy family or a happy club. Sounds like you're ready for a change. I don't need any club to be cool or have friends. <laughs> Look at you. Plus, I like hanging with Trevor and his skater friends. No drama. That sounds like a plan, Dana. I'm glad Trevor is with you tonight. Thanks. The boy cannot dance, though. Look at that. <laughs> I love that Trevor doesn't care how goofy he dances in the VIP section. That is a bit of a goofy dance. No more bottles. That VIP section the Vortex so Club bad. actually hired DJ Doom for the party. So Juliet hooked up with Zachary again? Zachary, if you mess with Juliet, I will kick your balls on a loop. Fuck yourself. Oh, that makes me want to pull a carry on the Vortex Club. Kate almost dead. Rachel dead. Enter the Vortex Club. Look at these entitled assholes. They don't give a shit about anybody. If that tornado came right now, I would just sit here and watch for a while. But I have to make sure Chloe doesn't go on her own rampage. <sighs> I hate feeling this way. It's dark and angry. Nobody has seen him tonight. He's definitely not upstairs or in the locker. Damn. Maybe he's hiding in his dorm. Then let's bail. Nathan can't hide anymore. So, you made it, Max. Oh, uh, hey, Mr. Jefferson. Um, are you both okay? You look like you're on a, a mission. Oh, uh, I was just looking for Nathan. Uh-huh. Well, I didn't know you were pals with him. I haven't seen him since this afternoon. He, he seemed pretty upset. I think he's still quite upset over the, the, uh, the whole Kate situation. Yeah, that makes sense. Let's talk later, Max. I have to announce the winner of the contest. I do wish you would have entered. You have to build up that resume and portfolio, but I know you will. Thanks. I hope so. Okay, excuse me. I'm almost on. Let's get the hell out of here, Max. Okay, okay, everybody calm down. Thank you. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. I, but I don't want to get in the way of the party, but it's time to announce the winner of the Everyday Heroes Contest. Before I do, I want to thank everybody who entered their photograph and everybody who thought about entering. Now, this is the most important step in being an artist. Sharing your work with the world. All of you represent Blackwell Academy and everything our school stands for. As far as I'm concerned, you're all everyday heroes. The envelope, please. And the winner is... Oh my, what a shocker. Victoria Chase. Mr. Jefferson, it was your incredible photography that brought me to Blackwell, and I hope I can live up to your name and fame. I also want to thank all the students for being so dedicated in their pursuit. And I'd like to dedicate this prize to Kate Marsh. 
She is the real everyday hero of Blackwell, and I can't wait for her to come back. Thank you. You suck, Victoria. Victoria won. Big surprise. I can't believe she blackmailed Jefferson. Well, yes, I can. Who fucking cares? Rachel is still dead, and I want Nathan's punk ass now. Me too. Let's go check out the dormitories. Oh, Christ. Nathan just texted me. He says there won't be any evidence left after he's done. Shit. We have to go to the junkyard right now. This is a long episode compared to the others. Stop stomping around, Chloe. Right. Just get ready to use your rewind fast if Nathan tries to jump us. That's a nice place to be at night. Come on, come on. Nice little Huda again. Nathan needs to die now. Oh, for God's sake, Chloe, you have to be quiet. We could die, okay? Suffer, Nathan. A lighthouse out in the distance. This game is so well represented. Yes, or presented, rather. <laughs> Not represented. Oh god, Max, look. She's still there. Don't look, Chloe. Hello, Mr. Jefferson. 